Welcome to If Lands Could Kill, I'm Life City. This is Reich. So, Crow. Hot sauce. And this is episode 55? 55. Oh, yeah. 55. 55. 55. 55. And I am back once again. That Go sucks. tell a friend. Um, hope you guys had fun last week. And I hope we're going to have fun this week because we don't have any fucking show yeah, notes. We had, uh, we had to talk to Nicol Bolas to... Bring you back from the dead. Yeah. Ah, we had yeah, to resurrect uh, you. Sacrifice Just a lot like of people. Jesus. You had to talk to some demons. Yeah. Yeah, basically. It's pretty much pretty much all it is, though. It's demons. Demons. Uh, demons. You got a semen in you. No, no, I got a demon in me, Phil. What? <laughs> no, no, remember that tranny? You got some semen in you, too. This is from oh, Adult Swim. I don't know. Hangover oh, 2. Hangover right. 2. Ah. Okay, you the tranny. Should have got it from Phil. Yeah, I got oh, it. Yeah. Mm. Good old Phil. So, anyways... Yeah, so what's going on? You guys had a successful uh, cast, I hear? Yeah, it went pretty well. It was uh, not funny, so apologies there, but it was informative. Yeah, there was a lot was, of information that went out. It actually wasn't bad as far as, like, oh, man, we're almost a normal cast. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we needed, like, I was, it was, like, Saturday morning, so I wasn't drinking. You weren't there, so we were bound two loudmouth assholes to make it, you know, shit go awkward. And <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure A-Team was more <laughs> raunchy than we were on that Wow. Game. And A-Team's, like, not, they're not so too it's bad. just, like... G rated. I don't yeah. think I even cussed. No, I don't think there was any dick jokes or anything. It's so like, call, it's like the call. one episode you can put on there, like, okay for work. I just guess, I should call my dad and be like, alright, this is the one episode. <laughs> I'm not in it though. I'm not, yeah, I'm not in it, and I don't think they said cunts in the whole episode. So. <laughs> and then he would be like, that's, well, it's not your cast if you're not on it. Like, how, how do I know that it's your cast? <laughs> well, I edited it. And by that, I mean, you I put the intro the song and the outro song, <laughs> and I sent it out. That's pretty much all yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. nope. We didn't really need to edit that one. It was pretty straightforward. I think even at the end, we're like, I think you could just probably just slap some on there and just throw it out. You don't have to cut anything. Yep, it's my motto. You should have just, just you should have put the Mario coin sign in randomly to make it sound like we were <laughs> yeah. really bad. <laughs> it's like, talking about nothing, talking about, I don't even know, how what you did that weekend or whatever, some casual stuff, and then just ba-ding, ba-ding, ba-ding. Yeah. And nice. everyone's like, oh, yeah. he did what? Oh, oh man, he's got so many coins. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you guys know, apparently yesterday was International Podcast Day. Yes, it was. I did post something on Twitter. It was Twitter. a fucking goddamn International Day for there everything. Is a date. So I know. Stupid. That's I know. I'm like, really, this is, I mean, I'm on a goddamn podcast. This is stupid as fuck. Why is there a goddamn International Podcast Day? What the hell is There's the International, you're right, there's everything, there's like, they Any, put, every kind of food, yeah, they every kind of animal. Coffee day. It was like, what the fuck? Yeah, International Coffee Day. There's there's like International Black Dog Day or something. There's there was something, something like that. Black yeah. Dog. I yeah. think. Yeah, I think you're. I think Is that like, a, like a, a week ago. or something. No, I think like it's a song though. So yeah, it's a song. That's good. Oh yeah, yeah. My girlfriend was like, "Oh yeah, it's Black Dog Day." <laughs> I asked, "Wait, I'm sure." When's white? I'm we got all yeah. dogs are present now. Yeah, we got, we got my dog. Where's that yellow dog? Yeah, day? come on, the ginger dog. <laughs> yeah. It's oh, a man. fucking scruffy mud day. International Bestiality Day. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. It's every day for oh, Jace. <laughs> it's not international. I, 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 I broke the fourth the fourth wall. I used a real name. Oh, uh, you done? Oh, oh the, they don't even. They talk about the planeswalker. It's not me. Yeah, yeah Jace the Planeswalker oh, has sex with yeah, yeah. animals. Yeah. That's why he got banned from Standard. And I'll yeah, he got snap banned in, yes, in snap. Standard. Snap, dude. Like, that's, what no. ha- that's what happens when they too get... Many, they get <laughs> too many rectal dog fatalities. <laughs> that's what happens when they catch you with your dick in a cow, dude. You just snap yeah. ban. You gotta go. You gotta Isn't there go. some like fucking politician in England recently who supposedly had, like put his dick in a dead, a dead pig's mouth? So this guy... That's true. So right? this, this guy is like an advocator for like. I like how you like immediately took the reins. Yeah, I, yeah, know, yeah. I know. I know this. Let me there. tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> so this guy, this is all I've you know read from my uh, uh, the paragraph of the internet I, I, I read on whatever. Anyways, he uh, is like an advocator for like getting making uh, like sex shops and like uh, pornos and stuff like that to be less you know just out there and dirty. So he's like trying to take away. Dildos in porno, what? or whatever, in he, like porno shops or like out like, of the actual like porno, porno movies. movies, I believe. And then there's something else that he he, I think they had a thing also where like they don't want to use. Uh, I mean, maybe I'm getting confused with something else, but they don't want to use like flat chested girls because yeah, them. it makes them even if they're over eighteen, it makes them look like they're under eighteen. So that gets making it look like it's you know underage stuff, whatever. There's, there oh might maybe God. I'm getting confused, but there's some other shit that he did. I'm, and then they found this thing about him putting his dick in a fucking. 
pig's mouth. You know, dead, dead pig's dead mouth. Pig's mouth. Well, yeah. I mean, come dead on. pig. That's it's, where I draw the line. It's always, yeah, the dead part's the, the problem. The dead bacon. <laughs> but it's always showing that, like, the people that, like, have a problem or, like, that's the, you were trying yeah. to get to that? Yeah. It's always like the guys who are, like, super anti-gay that suck dick. Exactly. It's <laughs> always that. And that's exactly it. When you see someone, like, you know, uh, like, politicians are a perfect example, or someone just uh, in the media in general that, yeah, has, like, some outcry for this, it's like, 20 years ago, you <laughs> did this the worst problem. Yeah. Like, that's what it really comes down to, you know what I mean? So, just like the same thing with, like, the whole, like, priest thing, Christian priest or whatever, Catholic priest or whatever, is, like, they're... Touching children or whatever, but they're supposed to be like that's part of the religion. Yeah, no, it's, it's just one of those. They, they those don't, they don't really it's ad- part of their religion. <laughs> they don't really advocate against it. They just <laughs> yeah. don't they just don't about. like when they the just, media gets a hold of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they just don't like when they get found out. He's like, I'm not gonna marry the boy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> how, many, how many little boys did the Pope break while he was here? I mean, goddamn. <sighs> Not me. So <laughs> the media was on him. I don't think he gave a chance. Yeah, too many cameras. Yeah. Anyways, I guess I'll go uh, first in this this week's uh, synopsis uh, since I missed last week. I was probably probably the sickest I've ever been for like a week and a half. I had like the most wicked fucking flu, fever, body aches, like. Double sandpaper AIDS. Double sandpaper AIDS. Congestion. It's it's really bad. Like dude. AIDS, but double, and then sandpaper. Yeah, dude. Really bad. Like AIDS is bad, but double sandpaper AIDS. Woo! That's the creepiest. Did you just make this up, or is this from dude, something? These 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 pills cost like four grand, not the seven fifty that that yeah. one guy did. <laughs> um, no, this is Magic Johnson can't afford these. Yeah, pills. yeah. yeah. <laughs> He can't afford it. It's like he just grabs up money and puts it in the pill. That's how he got to. Uh, so he got to so you can't not double sandpaper, dude. You gotta get no, sandpaper. There's not even any. You gotta pills. eat sandpaper and double the amount of sandpaper. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad. That's a long inside joke. Yeah, it was from. I don't even know who did. Was it you? I think it was uh, David. Maybe it was David. Feats. Yeah, Feats, dude. Or an old, old, old stoner friend or whatever. Yeah. That just like I don't even know the scenario, but he I just don't... came up with a. Like, something, this scenario of like, oh, it's so bad that like AIDS can't even be that bad. It's yeah. like, gotta be this and whatever it was. And it was really funny for the I think time. it was the same with the bloody bear cunt. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. We're having a, we're having a, rough, a rough cast, by the way. Yeah. Sorry, everyone that's new. It's and like, we're <laughs> back! <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know what? You miss a special ingredient in a roast and... Whenever I talk, about, whenever I talk about our cast, like when I'm playing people on MTGO or just random stuff, I I have to like preface it and just be like, hey, I want to make sure you know, <laughs> like we're real vulgar and like if dark humor is not your thing, like I'd probably not even try. <laughs> yeah, because you, you just I don't gonna, even scare them off like that personally. I, I don't know. I just put up. I'm like, but the thing is, it's a, it's also a turn on because like if you're into vulgar humor and dark humor, you know, then like you're all you know, you listen to Louis C.K. or something like that, like you're. You're a winner. Like yeah. then they're like, oh, this is the cast I've been looking for. Yeah, that's the difference. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or you're the guy that's like, oh, they can't be that vulgar, and then listen to it, and then fucking end of the night at the podcast, get, he's in the corner crying. Dude, we get a, like a, a Twitter comment like a month that says that basically, like, I listen to such and such, and like, holy shit. <laughs> or like, I, th- I when this thing said not safe for work, I was like, ha ha ha. And then it's like, I, uh, not safe I feel work. so dirty right now. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go and take a shower. <laughs> They'll make water hot enough. Oh, Tom, Tom, or the name right, Tom, or the guy that came over. To your birthday, or whatever it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like some things you just can't unhear. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, it's like uh, I, I tell people like uh, if you want to have a good laugh and listen to magic stuff, you know, check us out. And then like I kind of like don't tell them too much, just you know, kind of push that. And I tell them go listen to the episode like was it thirty six, bigger, longer, and uncut. <laughs> Thirty five. I tell them go listen to that one. Because <laughs> like at that point, if you can get through that and think it's hilarious because it's fucking hilarious, then I know you're listening to the rest of our fucking cast. Yeah, that first forty minutes yeah, was pretty yeah. brutal. <laughs> <laughs> I thought episode 50, so that last part with the questions, the listener questions, oh, dude, that was like, that's probably my, that's my favorite part of the podcast so far. <laughs> the episode was not my favorite episode because overall it was like normal, but like that part was. I think we had the best. most fun doing that. <laughs> uh, the best. So yeah, anyone that's uh, new, this is episode 50 and like, once again, the ending is the best part. It's really, it was a good time just for all of us. I just like it because it's like, the magic community is by and large like, you know, just reserved, and they're listening to LSV talk about why the third copy of blah, blah, blah should be in blah, blah, blah. And then, like, you just have these fucking raging assholes like fucking Heavy Meta and us and uh, Money Draft and fucking podcasts like that. And just, no, we're not so much like that. Yeah, Jason Alt's kind of hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, we, this is a great game. We all fucking love it. 
it's about having fun. We want to play and win, but we might as well fucking get a goddamn good laugh while we're doing it. Yeah, speaking of good laughs. So I was sicker than shit. Um, I think I might have been... I thought I had uh, West Nile one time. <laughs> well, I, I, okay. I totally didn't have it. Okay, you didn't have it. But that is going around yeah. in our area. Uh, East County, San Diego has the West uh, Nile virus going about in the mosquitoes like from the... Uh, San Diego. You mean like River. back in the day or no, like right now? Right, right, like I, got, I, got I probably got it again. That's what it was. <laughs> God damn. I got, no, I got, a, I got a letter from the city saying like you live within a half mile of the river, so that means that like you like do not stay, try to stay out, try to stay indoors at night. Uh, don't don't take a walk along so and so trails or whatever like that. Yeah. Until this thing's like those out. new trails they just built. And it's right next to the water, and yeah. it goes for miles. <laughs> Super nice trail, by the way. Yeah. So anyways, uh, just been uh, super sick, 103.7 degree fucking temperature, like... 103.7, dude. 103.7, like, probably should have gone to the hospital. Yeah, you should have gone. Yeah, that was probably been a good idea. Um, but anyways, I was just... And it sucked because my girlfriend uh, got finally got her wrist surgery, and the night before, I was like, hey, I think I'm coming down with something. And by that morning, um, her friend was taking her to the... Surgery and I had to go to school. I ended up leaving school early because I felt like shit. And then by the time she got home, I was like pretty much useless. And so she ended up taking care of me for like the next like five days. You had like an ice bag with like the cap on it over your head and the thermometer. Yeah, yeah. fucking uh, ends all bulbous and (laughs) red and shit. Like a mercury is like popping out of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. (laughs) Are you guys like uh, how? That's the sound. Yeah, exactly. That's, the sound. That's the sound it makes. Are you guys like how I am and how a lot of guys are? Where like, you know, we're tough and good to go and all kinds of stuff, but a little cold like just knocks us the fuck out. Apparently, that's like I didn't know that was a thing until it's, like it's my, thing. Girl, my girlfriend was like, "Oh, you guys, all guys are so fucking wimpy when they're fucking sick." I'm sure. like, "Well." Sure, but this is like the sickest I've ever been. So this doesn't like matter. So uh, apparently it's a thing. It's a thing. I mean, when I'm sick, my face fun of me. Like she like she'll help me a little bit, then like she doesn't like she just starts like making fun of me. It's like God damn it! Like I take care of you when you're sick, even though you're telling me you're fine, you can do it yourself. Like, I can still do it for you. When I'm sick, yeah, I'm fucking a little pussy about it, but everything else, I'm not a pussy about it. But God damn it, just help me, God damn it. Yeah, maybe it's a fucking toast. Yeah, help me. <laughs> yeah, I ended up uh, when I had the temperature. Like, you start to get a little bit, like, delusional, and I, <coughs> my girlfriend went to the store or something, and I was just sitting there, like, with my eyes closed in bed, and, like, my nose was congested, and I'd blow my nose, and it'd be, like, clear for a minute, and then, like, it'd start to get congested again, and I thought there was, like, I don't know, some sort of miniature aliens, like, trying to... <laughs> ah, Graboids. Con- 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 yeah, the Graboids <laughs> from Tremors uh, got in my nose and were congesting it on purpose. And I was like, there's like a conspiracy to congest my nose. And then I was like, kind of snapped out of it. But it was, it was really, it was just weird. Like, the only way I could describe it was, for all you fucking druggies out there, it was like being on shrooms and then once you come down off shrooms, it's like, holy crap, I'm back in reality. So by the time my fever broke, I was, like, back to just being, like, sick. Not, like, crazy f- fever-like sick, which was, like, a whole other dimension in my mind. So, uh... So I didn't die. You also you also trimmed your beard, <laughs> your mustache, which you've never not had a mustache. Um, like not never, literally, because you're a, a, you know a male that had to grow from childhood. <laughs> but, uh, you you I don't hey, remember. Chuck a Norris time. was born with a beard. You do. Well, well, he's the only one. That's sex before his dad did. Yeah, right. we got it. <laughs> so in high school, I, I didn't have the mustache. So I've had like the goatee. Yeah. You know, like I guess that's commonly known goatee or like the full-on beard uh for a long time so i haven't like shaved off just my mustache and i don't know fucking 10 years or something like that so but it was just it was right after the fever broke i was a little sweaty snot was coming down my nose and there's a little bit of puke and i was just like and this happens every once in a while with my facial hair where all of a sudden i just get this like this urge that like this like OCD that I cannot turn off where all of a sudden I'm like I have to shave this off right now I have to get this fucking hair off my fucking face right now and I just obsess on it until it's gone so now you look worse I just came up with this you look like this is not good for the listeners but you look like uh, 
Ian's friend Rusty, but a hundred pounds lighter. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, 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 that's not a compliment. <laughs> I can see it. Do you see it? I see it. What is that? The dude I call Buffalo Bill. <laughs> well, you're not Buffalo Bill. Almost. Buffalo Bill's younger brother. Yeah, you're like Pony, Buffalo Steve. Pony, Pony Bill or something like that. <laughs> Pony, Pony Steve. Pony, Pony, Pony Steve. Steve, dude. Oh, oh, Pony oh Steve. that's not yeah. nice. No, but I'm. Listen, you're you're the most handsome man ever. Yeah, okay? exactly. Just saying, you look like. <laughs> Just call me Pony Steve. Hey yeah. man, if he, if he weighed like 100 pounds less, maybe he'd be a stud. I don't know. Well, he would because no. he'd look like me. No, so exactly. No, obvious. <laughs> Anyways, um, so while I was still sick, like I'm still kind of sick right now, like not sick, but I still have like the residuals, a, a dry cough, um, puking stuff up. But I haven't had a cigarette in a week, so that's like good. So I'm gonna try and stay on that train. But uh. I was just, like, bored as shit because I was doing nothing but just, like, moaning in bed for, like, a week. So, uh... Sounds hot. I know, exactly. <laughs> and my girlfriend loved it. <laughs> She's, like, figuring herself in the living room, like, oh. listening to you, mom, yeah, in the not. bedroom. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm not thinking of your girlfriend fingering <laughs> herself. I'm not bringing it up. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Right? Of course. I'm not thinking you're... about it right now. I'm not doing that. <laughs> you're thinking of me right moaning. Moment. Yeah, I'm thinking about you yeah. moaning. And just cause an effect. With a, with a small layer of her finger in herself. <laughs> a small layer. A small puddle. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 so I wanted to, like, play, like, some old school video games to kind of, you know, like, when you want to eat a, like, peanut butter and jelly sandwich just to kind of, like, uh, like a comfort food. I wanted to play, like, a comfort game because I was sick. So I started playing uh, Super Mario RPG for the Super Nintendo. One of my favorite games of all time. Mm-hmm. Um... So I was playing it, and with any, like, old-school turn-based uh, RPG game, there's, a, like, a lot of talking. A lot of fucking talking. Especially in the beginning, they have to establish the story and blah, blah, blah. And by talking, he means a lot of text. Yes, a lot of text. <laughs> a lot of reading. There's no voiceovers for this. No, yeah, this is before voiceovers existed. So a lot of uh, reading to be done. And uh, so maybe, like, 40 minutes went by, and I was, like, a little bit into the game. And I, I've been in this game so many times that I don't even remember how many times. So, like, I wasn't saving because I'm like, well, this is just the beginning of the game. I know what to do. Like, I'm not going to die. You have to be a fucking idiot to die, you know. They give you, like, plenty of chances not to die. And so I was just going through, and all of a sudden I came to this stupid little mini boss, and I was just, like, kind of just, like, auto-attacking, just, like, hit A, hit A. Okay, you know, pick, you got to pick, like, you know, physical attack or magic attack yeah, yeah. or whatever. All of a sudden, you know, I'm just hitting A, and all of a sudden I look up, and my guy's fucking dead. I'm like, well, that's not fucking supposed to happen. So it kicked me back all the fuck the way to the beginning of the game. I'm like, well, I'm not fucking playing this. I just wasted it. I was, like, super excited to, like, get in the game, and then just, like, 40 minutes wasted. And I was like, okay, I'm not fucking playing this game anymore. It just made me angry. So I ended up uh, playing Watch Dogs again. I uh, like just deleted my save files and just start over fresh. That game any good? I really, I really like. He it. really likes. It. Okay, the game is very good. It's just you have to be that kind of gamer. As of my my opinion about it is it's- that you have to be like into stealth and into open world. And you have to, when I mean open world, I mean like my thing when I started playing it is that when I got through the first couple of missions and they like open the world up to you, there's like. Five times as just five times more things than like GTA has from the opening screen. There's just like so many icons, and you have to like look at the legend and be like, "What the fuck? Wait, what is this? Should I do this side mission or should I do like a mi- the regular mission or like they all? You can do like twenty side missions. You could like not do the missions. You could just keep going on a path of just finding the radio towers and just whatever the hell else is going on, yeah. and then you can maybe do a mission. Like I don't know. It just they open it up in a way that I don't know what to do. What like I should how I should level it just my character you, before I play a mission or it, whatever. It gives you a lot of options. You could just straight do like the storyline missions and be fine, but there's a lot of stuff to do on the side, and some of the stuff on the side helps you out during the story do you, missions. Do like you guys feel weird about like playing through just a story mo- mode? Like, can you do that? Can you like just do the story? Can you like quest? an open world like, game? Compared, like compared to Skyrim, like Skyrim or something like that, or even like well, Grand Theft Auto is actually pretty easy to go through like without doing side stuff. But there's other games like that where like they you 
they kind of want you to play the side stuff. I guess Borderlands could be an example of that. Mm-hmm. Could, do you guys feel weird about that at all? Just like I can't, do it. I, I, I can't physically do it. can't no, do it. I, I can't. I mean, my wife, I got my wife in the Skyrim now, and like she plays all the time. So if like, I have to like, fight her to play, you know, play the you know, Xbox, or whatever, and like she loves it. Like the first time she played it through, she like went straight, straight missions only. I'm like, and she was at level like fifteen or twenty or whatever. I'm like. You already at the last dragon? Like, what's happening right now? I was baffled. Like, what is going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. And then she's like, "Oh, I did all the sword missions, the main missions first. I'm now I'm going to do side missions." I'm like, "Strange, right?" I don't understand. Yeah. That's what I. That's, that's what, what I feel about. I sprinkled it in. So like all like Skyrim, GTA, uh, even uh, The Witcher, uh, all the like The Witcher three. <clears throat> I actually play. I'll do like one or two like of the quests, the main quests, and then I'll sprinkle in like maybe two or three or four of side missions, and then I'll go back to the main quest. And so I alternate back that's and forth. Exactly that's exactly how I do it. Yeah, that's yeah. what I do too. But I can't do it the other way is my point. It's like yeah. I feel well, that's weird. like the people that have like the fucking that get like a plate of food that has like the seg- like segregated different pieces. Like my mashed potatoes here, my peas are here, and they eat only mashed potatoes first, then they fucking eat their peas <laughs> and they eat their chicken or whatever. It's like no, you no 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 no. No, that's no, not you gotta, all, you gotta that, give you a little this, a little that. That's also weird. You need yeah. you need the KFC bowl of just mixing yeah, everything. Yeah, I, I would I would rather famous famous bowl, though. Yeah. If someone said you either gotta eat it all in order like that, or you just gotta get everything on the plate. And just stir it in a bowl. <laughs> I'd be like, T- I'm taking the bowl. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't care what it is. It's fucking. It doesn't matter what it is. I just like. It's fine. I want it all together. I don't gotta care if it's a goddamn salad and a steak. I'm, I'm mixing it. Well, usually the thing with like games like that is they introduce side missions throughout the whole thing. So it's like you know, once you unlock X ability or X you know part of the map, then it's like, hey, let me show you this side mission and what you got to do. Or they'll introduce like a new ability and then there's a side mission available to where you have to use the ability. So it's like they're always introducing the side mission. So like Reich was saying, yeah, you usually like do the first one or two or three. You're like, ah, oh, I'll get back to the fucking main missions. Well, I feel weird because like I feel like I'm missing so much like if I don't play the side missions. Like, right. I don't really care about the side missions all that much because like I, know, I mean I know it's like still part of the quote unquote story uh, but it's like I feel like I'm almost just like wasting my time by doing some of these side missions. Like, and, like some of them are good and some of them are bad. I feel <laughs> Like nowadays, I mean, maybe since like uh, GTA, I guess maybe three. Uh, my my main example I'd use is like Red Dead Redemption, oh, um, where the side missions are like better than the game, like yeah. as in they are like funnier or introduce like wacky characters or like characters that are very interesting. Um, so they kind of they're allowed to do like the whole like Family Guy cutaway in the middle of the game and like introduce something totally not part of the game just for that you know twenty minutes and then you go back to like normal stuff. And so I really like that. Uh, Borderlands also Borderlands is funnier with the side missions than it is the main story. Mm-hmm. So I feel like. I want to play the side missions a whole bunch nowadays. I bet back in the day, like, they're not as good. They're more just, like, uh, grinding to get better stuff. But I, I feel like, like I said, nowadays with the story, like, it's just some of the side missions are better. So I'd say for, like, a game like Skyrim, I'm a little more, like, the, op- the opposite extreme where you have, like, instead of, like, doing only story, only story missions, I'll do, like, a, a main story, one or two of them, and then I'll do, like, ten at least side missions before I get back to doing a main mission. And then it's, like, depends on how well that goes and how well that main mission was, then maybe I'll do another one. But but either way, I'm most doing one or two, and then back to ten more side That's missions. That's what I do with, like, Destiny. <laughs> Destiny, I'd play, like, a mission or two, and then I would just do a ton of multiplayer and a ton of, like, uh, events and side mission stuff and just, like, whatever I could to, like, uh, you know, get more the in-game currency, like, whatever the fuck was going on. I wouldn't really care so much about the story mode because the story mode wasn't the part of it, you know what I mean? So... Not as much. Anyways, it's funny. Like, just I digress. Skyrim, I'm really, I'm starting back over again on Skyrim. I'm up to like level 17 now, but like, just even like, I spent like a lot of fucking hours in that game. Like, just anything like Fall, Fall New Vegas, a lot of fucking hours. First time I played this Skyrim, and I'm playing through it again now. And I'm playing, I'm running into all kinds of missions that I never saw the first time I played through. And that game is just like infinite in amount of side missions. So it's you like know, Fallout 4 has more <clears throat> dialogue than Skyrim and Fallout 3 and New Vegas combined. Excellent. Fallout 4 is going to be ridiculous. I'm, I'm very sorry. I don't know. If, I mean, I don't even know if it's a good thing. It's like way <laughs> too much, but I, I'm still really excited about this yeah. game. It's uh, funny because, like, back in the day, like, Grand Theft Auto would be like, this map is bigger, is five times as big as last Grand Theft Auto's map. Now it's like, 
This game has five times as much talking as the previous game. <laughs> Holy shit. The game is also, like, really big. They did mention yeah, that. Yeah, that's how I take that comment. Also, yeah. being more text, meaning there's more. Minutes. There's also, no, they, all, they had two different things that they said, and they, they mentioned that the world is bigger than, I just can't remember what. I would say, right. you know, say Skyrim and Fallout, Fallout 3 put together, maybe it's well, bigger than that. That was a big thing when, like, games first came out with, like, Everything had dialogue, like actual talking, like voiceovers. Because like a lot of times, it's it's really expensive to do fucking not only for like money wise, but also for like just resources. Like games yeah. couldn't like back when CDs were you know only you know six hundred megs or whatever, and you couldn't fit all that information like the voiceovers onto a CD. No, the, like, the sound is like, like whatever like, now because everything's probably digital. a third of it or something like that. Yeah. You know, it's a lot. You know, sound. you know what I thought was amazing? On Grand Theft Auto 2 when there was actual, like, live action footage in the intro, I was like, oh my god, this is fucking crazy. This is like, this is like television. And then <laughs> you go, and, and, and then you go and play, like, the shitty bird's eye view, like, fucking 2D fucking right. game. But it was just crazy that there was, like, actual live people footage. That just reminds me of, like, the commercials that Blizzard ha- Blizzard's has for all its games. <laughs> Where the cinematics are fucking amazing, and then you play the game and it's like Diablo three. You know? <laughs> like, oh, it's not, the, it's not the same game. <laughs> always done that like song. your girlfriend could be like, "Hey, is that you know what? what about, are you ever gonna get that game you were like you know talking about on the commercials?" I'm like, "Oh, this is it." This is it. This is not it. I fucking hate how in trailers now they have all that fancy footage. I'm like, just show me fucking gameplay footage. I don't want to see whatever you fucking paid somebody to make. No, I, I want to see gameplay. There was like, I think Spec Ops The Line had had uh, a series of commercials that were like all gameplay. And I was like, oh, that's fucking perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. You yeah. want to see like little three second snippets from the campaign and like shit blowing up yeah. and buildings falling and like all in game footage. They're doing a lot better now with that, like with like the Uncharted series and things like that. They're going a lot more in game. Um, but well, yeah, I agree. Like now. for the for whatever time, there was like nothing in game at all. Yeah, honestly, I think I think like the Destiny commercials are very good. Like they're funny. And yet, even though they're live action, they still look similar to what you're doing in the game. I think you do a very good job, like assimilating it to be looking like gameplay. You know what you're, yeah, you know what you're getting but, into for sure. You know, it's still, and it still adds a touch of funny too. I think the Destiny course is plus Taco good. Bell, dude. Taco Bell. Come I on. love Taco <clears throat> Bell. Dude. Get your fourth meal. Yeah, mm. dude. Think outside the bun. So uh, another game I was playing while I was sick was. <laughs> <laughs> I you know that was we didn't have to laugh. That was so smooth. I know. I know. I know we all wanted to go, but it just it hit me again what you just said. So <laughs> it's just it's just great. For some reason my intro. Oh, edit the bell. Edit the bell in there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's gonna be amazing. <laughs> like right after we say it, not even a fucking tenth of a second. You can edit this part out so that nobody oh, knows great. we're talking about it. <laughs> Do it in post. Do it in post. Perfect. <laughs> I love it still. That's amazing. Oh my god. So the other game I was playing while I was sick was Pokemon X. I never nice. finished it from when I bought it uh, a while ago. So I I played, like, a lot of it. And I looked, you know, when you save, it tells you how many hours mm. in and how many badges you have and all that crap. So I'm, like, ten hours in. I only have three badges. And to me, that's, like, that's good. Yeah. I'm like, good. Because how many badges are there usually, like, eight or something like that? Always. So I'm, like, stoked about that because I'm, like, sweet. It's not going to be a short game. I still have, like, a lot of... There's a lot of gameplay to go through, and that's enjoyable instead of, you know, like, the shitty Destiny fucking storyline, which took you fucking ten hours and you beat the fucking whole thing. So I was pretty stoked about that. That's I don't know. That's so funny that you play like older games and you don't feel good because I do the fucking same exact thing. <laughs> like, when I'm sick, I'll, like, load... I always load up the same game. I have an emulator of... Uh, Fucking uh, Shadow Run for the Genesis, <laughs> and like I always try to play because I I only beat that game by ch- like actually cheating through it because there's a there's a code you can do at the, like the start of the screen like when the game first loads to get like uh like like massive amount of money or like all this gear and stuff and like every time I get sick I'm like I'm gonna play through this I'm not gonna cheat this time so, like, I'll play it for like an hour I'm like ah oh, fuck I need to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Some nice. games rarely are better when you just cheat yeah. and you just do whatever, you know? Dude, every time Age of Empires uh, 2, I think, or maybe it was the first one, 
I just have to fucking cheat so I get like all the gold, all the gold and all the yeah. wood and, and there's like this special vehicle that shoots lasers, you know, I'm like, if they're attacking too much and I'm going to lose, I'll get the fucking vehicle there's, and destroy them. Two examples of this. In the original Pokemon Red and Blue series or whatever, they had like a... Listen, you go next to an island or whatever, yeah, yeah. And then like they have like that. Don't whatever. capture the glitch, dude. It'll wreck your whole fucking yeah, yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, I never had that. So you have to, you have to capture it in a certain way or whatever, and then you look at your inventory and it copies something in like the third the, slot or whatever. It's it the top you know, slot, top slot or whatever. So it's usually you do rare candy on that. Yeah, rare candy, or you do like the uh, the master ball or whatever, or, so you can catch anything. Yeah, that's the two Either way, yeah. so you do that, and then now you're like you're already it already is like seventy five percent into the game anyways before yeah. you get to this area. Yeah. So you're totally like happy doing it. Another example is um. Uh, of, of one that I don't like or whatever is Borderlands. Oh, yep. There was a uh, you know what I'm talking about. That's yeah. what I was, was going to bring up. That ruined the game. For me. I yeah, ruined the game. And then as soon as like I was doing all the DLCs and shit, we didn't, we didn't tell them what, what it is. We don't want to get to it. Oh fuck! I was going to get to it. No, 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 no. You know what? We're we're just just cut, knife, get to it. Knife, get to it. No, no. So in Borderlands, <laughs> which I've never played. No, it's yeah. It's just that there's a a thing where you can like sometimes. Get a gun that has like infinite power, mm-hmm. or get a shield that has infinite life. That's yeah. all really works. Exactly. And so what I didn't do with the, the cheat, except for you can like when you're playing a game with a buddy on there, they can drop it and you can pick it up. And so like that's, you part, that's how it, you start the cheat. They anyways. can drop it. You pick it up, and then they cancel their game before it saves on their end. Yeah, and they right. reload the game, and they still have it in their inventory. Yes. But you have it because you didn't exit so the game. It's, it's own little virus that yeah. goes through. A gun that has you know uh, seventy four million uh, you know hit damage or whatever. And so no matter what you hit, it dies. No matter what boss, whatever, any part of the body, just one you just hit. hit them is all one hit. And then the shields have you know same thing, millions of whatever. And then so you start getting hit by damage, and it's just in the thousands. Even if you're like really really high level, it's still like only a tens of thousands or whatever, and so the shield takes, you know, 0.01% of damage, and then the thing just recharges, and it's like nothing, so that's that same thing, is that you don't, the game's hard, Borderlands is hard if you don't do, like, the side missions along with it, they get it, they get, like, a leveling system where, like, you need to do the side missions to get to um, a good level to, like, be the game to be more balanced on your end or whatever, and if you don't, then it's just fucking hard, so this just ruins the game, because you can't die, and you can shoot, so you just... Playing it on God mode, you know, you're just like you could like lay, you could like lay on your back on the couch and just have the controller in one hand and just kind of like I don't even care, you know. It's like what's gonna happen? I can like I can put the controller down, go take a shit, come back, and like nothing's gonna happen, you know. Like, I love the Borderlands, the first Borderlands. It was great. I spent a lot of time playing that game, and there's still some things for me to do. But I had like unlocked almost all the achievements except for one DLC was you, you have to like go through four like fucking uh, Mad Max Biodome situations. Not Biodome, what's the word? Whatever, Battle Dome, whatever. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And so, like, you, I didn't play much of that Holy short. So, like, it was very... I did a fight the <laughs> He was the boss. So, like, it was very... You couldn't beat it by yourself. But, like, to beat one of them took, like, hours. So, like, that's just a pain in the ass. So, I was like, okay, give me the gun and the shield. So, I did that. That's so, exactly like, what I did. three hours beating one. I was like, yeah, I still have to beat three more to get the achievement. And I was like, okay. what would be the first game ever to do all my We had exactly like, the same experience with it. Where I, ha- I did the first one, and you're right. It was, like, three to five hours or whatever. And I had the infinite stuff, and I... Like I said, I just like laid on the couch, yeah. barely looking at the screen because it didn't matter. I just had to grind it. Yeah. So I just sat there on the couch for three, five hours, and I just did. And I was like, it was boring never again. Shit. Like I'm not doing. And then you get three 20, more. No twenty gamer way. score at the end of it. You're like, no, because right. you, you have to beat all four to get the achievement. No, no. Okay, you beat the first one, you get an and achievement, and then you beat the remaining three. The, yeah, yeah, the yeah. weasel. <laughs> <laughs> end of the game world. There were some other like legendary things you could do and like some other giant worm you could go fight and like, things like that. It was like I wasn't gonna do those, but now like now I have this question and whatever's going on, I was like, well that was the end of the game for me doing that fucking guy. Yeah, pretty much. Like, Sorry about that tangent. That's good. And then what else? What happened? Old, old game. Well, the shark turned into a weasel. <laughs> the weasel. No, that's, that's what he uh, evolves into. Um, so uh played Pokemon. It's great, I haven't beat it yet. Uh, good game though. And, what the fuck else do I... I had to text myself what the fuck I did, because I never fucking remember. Oh, Mr. Fucking Crow, I have a gripe with you, sir. Oh, wow. Ooh, fantastic. Oh, no. If you can recall a certain episode 38, Accidentally Hilarious, <laughs> Okay. you said that either the skinny one, either Keenan or Kel, 
was dead. See, uh, we've seen that recently too. Motherfucker's not dead. He's not dead. See, then it was a hoax. And I heard about this like two years ago. I was surprised too. I was I surprised too. Seen, there's like the revamping a show. And I'm like, what? How how the revamping a show? He's I don't dead. know. I just saw him on some clip on. He was on Jimmy YouTube. Fallon. Yeah, Jimmy Fallon. They were doing the Good Burger thing, and the whole time I was just like. That motherfucker lied to me. Well, I didn't mean to lie to you. He I just said that like, recently, too. I'm like, what the me, fuck? I thought he was say dead. things that are not <laughs> well, nice. It, he's technically dead to me, just like Chris <laughs> Just like Chris Tucker, he's dead to me. Maybe he, <laughs> like, died like Landfill from Beer Fest, and he just came back as yeah, it's, it's, Landfill it's, it's, again. Yeah, his two brother, and he's like, don't worry, I got this. I'll do yeah, it. Yeah. Take over your life. Maybe it's that. You never know. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it up though, because I, I honestly I thought he was dead. That's what I had heard. Yeah. And I was like, you know, bum because Good Burger was great. And yeah. then I'm like, how is you know he alive? He hasn't done probably, it in a couple of years. They probably uh, injected him with orange soda and brought him back. Ooh. Uh, ooh. That's how it works. Is that a good cool comment? Oh, orange soda. Oh, he loves orange, orange soda. soda. <laughs> Have you not seen the show? Yeah, really, dude. Who <laughs> loves orange soda? Keen loves orange soda. <laughs> anyway, so. stop it right here. Stop the episode right here and just go watch some episodes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's gotta be on the internet fucking somewhere. Fucking YouTube, uh, love orange soda. Anyways, uh, and also I just wanted to say uh, shit that I talk about and then I never talk about it ever again. Uh, so I was playing Neverwinter a while ago, and I got up to like level like fifty eight, and then I just stopped playing it. And the cap is sixty. So I just I just stop stop playing it. I don't know why. Just like the, it, ha- it hasn't interested me into like playing it again. It's just some things, some like games or movies or shows or whatever. I could get super into them, and then I just kind of like lose wood for it. So that's what that's what happened. This is uh, Battlestar Galactica and Reich. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, one episode left. <laughs> <Can't> <laughs> went, went through, uh, what is it, uh, let's say in the range of like 50 to 60 hours Easily. of uh, TV, and then he just, last episode, yeah. nah, 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 we're good. You crack me up, dude. You guys would be proud of me today. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, in regards to that, also I was talking about Bleach for a while. I'm up to like 300 and something, that's and I just fucking stopped. Stop fucking watching it. No, because, okay, so with that, there was like, how the show, how the episodes came out was that there's a company that makes the manga or whatever, you know, the actual story, and then there's the company that makes the show. And so the company that makes the show would make shows up until uh, the company that made the manga didn't have any more material. So the company that made the show would just make like these offshoot episodes that weren't based on the manga and they were like bullshit fucking side fucking tra la la gum and your hair and fucking shit like that. You know, just not like not the not the good stuff that you want. It's expanded universe stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's bullshit. But nothing it doesn't change anything. Nothing actually happens to like affect anything. No, it's just like stupid, stupid crap. And then so like half a season will be that and then half the season will be like actually go back to the storyline and pick up where they left off. So anyways, they they got to a point in the fucking series, like towards the end, where it was like the natural conclusion, like the story arc was complete to where the, the bad guy finally got what was coming to him, and you know, the good guy went totally super awesome, super saiyan, and fucking just... Was the best. You're mixing the universes here. Yeah, I know, I know. He fucking got the mushroom power up and fucking shot flower ball, fireballs at people. No, uh, <coughs> so it was like the natural conclusion. And then, like, they just went on this next season of just like, you know, maybe like, okay, there's the ending and then maybe have like an episode or two to like wrap it up or whatever. But they just had this next season where it's like, yeah, that was pretty crazy. Yeah, that was pretty crazy, you know? Like, no, no, we're not fucking doing this. And then, and then all of a sudden they like introduce these new fucking characters that, and I'm like, okay, this is, no. My fucking bleach ended at fucking 345 or whatever. I'm not going on this. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. So, I just, I just want to let the listeners know that I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't even, so that means just don't even start because you know the ending is no good. Yeah. No, so if, if one piece of advice, if you're going to watch it, go look up the like Bleach Wikipedia thing and they, they tell you which ones are like side, bullshit, non-main story episodes and just skip over those motherfuckers. Yeah, just stick with purely Clorox. Yeah. Just the straight <coughs> smell in your nose. None of that Target brand bullshit. You don't want that. No. They don't no, know what they're doing. None of that no. shit with Downey in it. Fuck that. 
But, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much. I don't think Bleach has Downey in it. I don't think so either. Yeah. Go on. I mean, it, it... <laughs> good. I just wanted to be as quiet as I could. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, yeah, I think that's it for me. That was quite, quite <laughs> yeah, was, uh, I think we're like an hour in already. Ah, yeah. It's fine. Don't worry about Easily. it. I don't, right. even, I don't even have magic stuff right. to talk about. Come on, let's go. Uh, yeah, man, so you guys would be proud of me. Um, I actually fucking started playing uh, Witcher 3 again. Nice. And so I'm actually pretty much at the end, I think. So by the end of this weekend, I will have beaten Witcher 3. And the whole reason I started playing it again is because there's actual DLC, like another storyline coming out, I think, uh, later, like October 12th or something like that. So I want to make sure I fucking beat the game and... Uh, and actually get ready for the DLC, because I forgot how good this fucking game is. Game of the year, hands down, uh, without seeing Fallout 4 so far. But, uh, yeah, I've been playing that. Uh, it's a great story. If you haven't bought it yet, fucking buy it. It's a great game. Um, it's fucking, it's funny, because I'm like, I know there's, like, a lot of choices in, the, in Witcher uh, that, like, really fuck you. If you don't, like, pick the right ones, or, like, it, it can really alter the ending or whatever it is. And so, like... As I play through the game, like, cause I know, like, cause Witcher 2 had the same thing, like, where I played, I played all through Witcher 2, but I picked the wrong storyline, but I didn't know I picked the wrong story at the time. Which one, which, which storyline did you pick in, in, in Witcher 2? I picked, uh, where I helped out fucking, uh. The elves or the, uh, the, the assassin? The crew? assassin, yeah, is like the okay. fucking, the human. I picked the, I picked the help in the elves. You picked the good one. So, That's essentially, good. I picked out the one where they're fucking helping, like, the whatever, Tamiria or whatever those guys are. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, uh, Anyways, in Witcher Three, I'm like, I, I'm like, I went, I started playing the game knowing that, like, okay, these choices are probably, I gotta make sure I make the right ones so I don't like fucking lose out on like, you know, at the end of the game. And I'm like playing through it. Now I'm getting towards the end. I'm like, fuck, everything I chose was like the wrong shit. <laughs> <laughs> the, the video game like rule of thumb: choose the bad side. You know what I mean? Choose the like, rebels. choose what you think's gonna hurt them. <laughs> it's always it hurts the most temporarily, and then it's always good in the long run. And like, it's funny because like, there's a there's, like, love interest in the game, and I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but, like, I fucking, I did the wrong stuff. Like, <laughs> so now I'm the end, I'm like, you, you didn't like, get laid. I'm like, I'm like, fuck, like, I just fucked you myself. You laid the ugly one. Yeah, yeah, like, you're, <laughs> you're only fucking yourself from that point on. So, yeah, I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. Uh, so I'm, like, just playing through it. It's actually a really good game. I want to, they have, they released a DLC, which is a, a new game plus, which is essentially a new game, but, like, it's harder. Um, then the actual you keep all your, yeah you keep all your shit and just keeps yeah. continuing on so like Hardcore I want mode I want to kind of play through that a little bit before the DLC comes out so I'm trying to like burn through it right now and get the story open it's like the story is just so good it's just a good game uh, but I've been playing that uh, fucking haven't been doing it much else finally get all my shit together uh, th- I'm waiting for this weekend there's a gun show coming up I'm like fucking I got all my my fucking shopping list down for all the shit I need for reloading and stuff so I'm like probably going to go on Saturday morning, like, first thing, and be, like, one of those old guys that stand in line at a fucking gun show to get in. <laughs> It'll be the first ones in, so <laughs> like, get what I need. You're too young for this. You need to, yeah. <laughs> you need to slow your roll, buddy. You are too Asian and... <laughs> <laughs> just hanging out with a bunch like, of... Are your gun. eyes even open right now? Hold the gun white. backwards and I, shit. Okay, I just have to say, in one of my classes... There's this Asian kid, and he's so much whiter than me. He has a fucking <laughs> jean jacket and a goddamn Marlboro cigarette hat on. Not like a cool, like, flex fit. It's, like, just like a shitty old man fucking Marlboro hat on. I'm like, you are so much whiter than me. Like, little Asian boy, what, what, how did you do, what did, what did we do to you? Yeah, right. God. Are we going to shoot this weekend? Uh, yeah, I hope so. I would like to. What day would you want to go? Uh, probably Sunday would be best. Sunday's good for me. So anytime on Sunday. Is the Chargers playing Sunday? Uh, actually, yeah, they are. You know, <laughs> you know, you know what I like? I like home, uh, playing at home, yeah. You know what I like? I like making plans live on a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> so we do. It's good for, it's good for, the, good for the listeners. Yeah. Well, I got, I got to well, take... Well, let me, let me check my calendar. Yeah, well, I got, hold I got on. Let me call my girlfriend out. and see if she says okay. Okay. Honey? Let me call. Yeah, Hello? call her right now. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta take Sauce out. Like, we've been talking about, cause I wanna take him out and bring up some handguns so he can fucking... I wanna know what I wanna get. So yeah, cause uh, he's like, I feel like he's on the verge of like, just going to a gun store and just buying something like right now. I think, I think that needs to happen. It does need to happen. Pretty soon. But uh, yeah, that's probably been me. I've just been playing that game, working my fucking ass off, and uh, enjoying life. And it's a great way to stay in shape. Yeah, and uh, fucking, uh, me? Fucking donkey puss. Just <laughs> <kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey puss uh, hubris. 
You know what I mean? No, why not? Take it away. Take it away, donkey puss. <laughs> donkey punch, bro. That's what you got. For him. Well, I got to send it to the uh, MTGO beta, which I'm excited about. Unfortunately, though, I sent him the, you, know, you apply for it, but like three days later, they, they responded and I say, I got in. Like, well, awesome. I go do all the steps, uninstall my first program, install the beta, do all that shit, finally turn it on, sign in. We're sorry, but your account has, is no longer exists. Create a new account to sign in. Like, well, what the fuck? Like, okay, that doesn't seem right. So I reach out the computer, do all kinds of other shit, uninstall it, install the regular one, and I my account's still there, all the collection's still there. Uninstall that, go back to the beta, it still won't work. So I'm like, well, what the fuck? So I, I message them again, and so every time you like email them about some kind of problem, it takes like two days for them to get back to you. Dude, you gotta call. You have to call. You gotta call. I don't know why you're messing around with email. Yeah, that's the only way I ever, like, when I first installed, um, MTGO, there was, like, something wrong with it where you literally could not connect to their server. And, like, I did, like, I know computers. Like, I know fucking computers, like, how networks work and all this shit. And, like, I'm, like, sitting here, like, I'm like, fuck this, I don't need to call. I'm like, I know, I know what to do, how to fix this shit. <laughs> and I got so frustrated, I've never called tech support for, like, a game <laughs> or anything, like, or any, really anything in my entire life. And this is the only time I've ever had to call the fucking company like that. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with your program? I cannot fucking log, it keeps giving me the same fucking error no matter what I do. And, uh, I never got it to work until like probably maybe three patches later or something like that. They were able to patch something and, uh, there was something wrong with like a security certificate that was yeah. like fucking random. Delete your cookies? Yeah, no, no, yeah. <laughs> no, like, did you jiggle the handle? But yeah, I'm not jiggling it. It's not working. Is, is it plugging? <laughs> Plug but anyways, in. I fucking hate MTGO. That's all I just want to say. So they finally emailed back again today saying, oh, yeah, we can definitely, we can help you with that problem. Well, to help you with that problem, can you please reply to this email with the original email we sent you? I'm like, motherfuckers, it's the same goddamn account. Like, you you can just fucking see my same account. and yeah, like, send it to them. Look at that same fucking email. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So then the original email saying, yeah, I'm like, send it into the, the beta, blah, blah, blah. blah. Now I have to wait two more days to get an email back from. So Dude, that's the kind of stuff that I had to, with buying the home. That's I had to deal with that shit a lot. Where like they they say like, hey, can you get this whatever and send it to whatever? And I'm like, dude, why why am I doing all this? I have to do all this stuff for you. What are you talking about? Like, just send it to them. You have you gave me the email address. Just just copy me or whatever and just send it to them. Stop making me do this middleman shit. It's not even like I have some kind of like responsibility or whatever. Like, I'm the one that has to do it or whatever. They can fucking do it. They're just too lazy. They just reply back to me. Oh, yeah, go ahead and do this, this, this. Like, just do it. I'm paying you. Everyone's getting so much money from me right now. Yeah, could, you, you could you email us your email address? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I mean, I don't get it. Just call. But just call. Just call, dude. I'll have to. I mean, the beta's almost over, but I was hoping to get in there to brew with some of this BFZ stuff and figure out a good ramp deck for it. How drowsy or sweet? Just wait. How drowsy or fun? So. I'll say that. Just wait. But yeah, so that's what's going on. Um, other than that, uh, not a whole lot's happened. I was talking to uh, the guys from GA Collectibles, and they're going to open 30 fucking boxes tonight. 30 fucking boxes of VFZ. I'm like, Jesus Christ. So I asked them, he's going to take down the numbers for how many expeditions they pull, so we can kind of see a ratio for how many fucking, you know, little, five cases or whatever. a little sample size. So yeah, I mean, so, you know, just kind of so we have a little more information. You know, it's, it, nice. things are flowing out there for what's been going on, but things are a little bit different considering you off numbers for sealed products. Have, have you guys seen the price for uh, fucking the expeditions? Oh yeah, yeah. blue. Let's go on towards like five hundred. Blue, blue fetches? No, not five hundred. Blue fetches are about four. four no, last I, I, checked, I, I checked today. They okay. were they were down. They're like down? they're like in the mid three hundred. Okay, well, yeah. two days like well the pre release day was like five hundred. Yeah, right, like right. I think so. I think like the most expensive ones like three forty five or something like that for I think Scalding Tarn, right? Still though, yeah, yeah no, no Scalding Tarn's a top one. I'm just saying it's just it's not as uh, bad. Like I think even. Maybe like Arid Mesa or something like that. Maybe one of like the lowest ones or whatever. I think is down to. I Man, I don't know. I can't really say, but it's in the two hundreds for sure. Like it's in the low two hundreds. The cons ones are definitely lower than the. The flood strands ones are not though. Flood strands is blue. You know? Yeah, it's blue. lower, but it's not. It's not low. So. But I, I, I have a feeling they're gonna go back up. Like. I mean, if I pulled one right now, I would fucking sell it. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, let me wait two years and let me <laughs> wait. Tiny leaders deck? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Play Fuck that bitch. No. <laughs> Maybe if I got like a watery I'll tell you, for mind. sure I would sell uh, all the new Tango lands or whatever they are, the slow lands oh, or yeah. whatever. Those are like yeah, okay. 100% gone. The other ones, like, 
I would sit on it because I would have to just look at it and be like, I don't know if I have, do I have to give this away? It's just money. I don't know. It's just money. You get more money, right? It's fucked up because polluted Delta is like one of the most expensive. It's going back and forth between that and flood strand. And that's just fucked up. Because I want to fucking play that one. Those are my colors, goddammit. But, uh, Kevy Metal from, uh, Heavy Meta called, uh, what do you call them? He called the new lands. He's like, they should be called the Fight Club, Fight Club lands because I wish people would follow rule number one and stop talking about them. <laughs> yeah, about, yeah, about the name. And yeah, and I was like, dude, that's perfect. I'm calling them the Fight Club lands forever now. So, Follower. Stop, stop talking about them. Right, right the first rule. <laughs> yeah, yep. you don't talk about it. So you, you can't ever name it again. You can't never talk, never talk, talk about, about what? It. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> perfect. perfect. The, the name of the episode? Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. Um, I want to be yeah. donkey pussed. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, not much else happened this week um, other than I had to go take care of some paperwork and do orientation on Friday and then I start my new job on Monday. Woo! So, nice! That's good. But, uh, so weird. Other than that, not much is going on. Just kind of sitting around wanting MTGO to fucking beta to work. And oh, I have been uh, grinding on Magic Duels and preparation for BMC to be released. Do you know when it's, it's going to come out? It's supposed to be released on the release date. It's supposed to be released tomorrow. But they sent out a little thing saying we know that there's been issues with the first one, and we we don't want to put out a subpar product, so we're going to delay the release of this to a later date in hopes and hopes until we get this right next year. So I don't know what that means. Yeah, they're not giving you the date. I they're know, just so. going to give you a vague month. Yeah. Right. It's going to come out in September <laughs> sometime. Whenever Half-Life 3 comes out, that's when we're releasing it. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, what I do know is I, I have a complete collection for the Origins on there, and now I have like 3,500 points ready to go. So nice. <laughs> by the time the next set gets released, I'll, I'll have enough to buy like the maximum they can open like at any time is like 42, I think, packs. I don't even know. I think it's Dude, you like must that. grind that all the fucking time. <laughs> because well, when I'm, I'm not... sitting there like at, you know, late at night, I'm just kind of bored. I've been playing a bunch of video games recently, so it's like, oh, I'll watch TV and just kind of slowly play this on single player. And it's just like whatever. Because anyway. I'm not even like close <laughs> to like – Having all the cards, like I look and I can still like buy like the maximum amount of, yeah. of packs if I if I had the money or coins for it. So you're fucking, you're a madman. You yeah, well, 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 whatever. I don't know. It's, it's, <laughs> I enjoy the game because it's simple, but it's magic. So it's like I'm playing it while not having to think about magic too much, but I'm still playing magic. I feel like it's like you're like a mom that has you know two kids under 10 years old and you're just playing Candy Crush all day because like you got nothing better to do. Well, that's part you of it. Stay home with your kids. So right now I'm watching my son and my wife's crushing it up. Yeah, my wife's been working so I'm watching my son and then I can't really play like like Destiny, you can't pause that game. Like, the, you know, you can pause it but enemies can still shoot you. And there are things where, you know, so it's just easier to like be hanging out with him and have that just on and when he's not on me to read him to read a, read a book to him or play with him, I just kind of like, click through and, you know, win some battles and whatnot. And Candy Crush. Yep, Crush is crazy. But it's magic dope. still, so even if it's dumbed down magic, it's still magic, so. Yeah, that's been my, uh, my week. Fair enough. What's up, Saus? Baus? Nothing. This is like, uh, this is boring. I haven't done anything this week. I mean, I went, what, Chargers, Chargers lost their ass. You know what? The fantasy team sucks it, balls. Oh my god. It's so awesome because every week you're like, I've, I've literally done nothing, and then you tell like a 45 minute story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not true. Draft, too. But my deck's so fucking horrible in first season to go 3 0 or whatever. It's like, fuck <laughs> you. Yeah, I went, I went and played a pre release by myself. Uh, and it was, I opened up. Well, I'll talk about the yeah, release in a minute. You know, it was, it was whatever. I, the thing is, there's not much to talk about, so I dropped like pretty quick out of the, out of the event because ah, it was just whatever. Cause, cause you're a garbage man. <laughs> you're the garbage, 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 garbage man, dude. You're the yeah. fucking garbage you're man. Trash man for life. Trash man. I go and win, you go to lose, it's okay. Yeah, it's pretty much how it goes. <laughs> so yeah, it's the worst I've done at a pre-release. I mean, really, uh, just, Nothing. I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, work. I guess like one thing. Work on. I think it was Thursday last week. Um, I, I don't think I talked about it or whatever, but maybe I did. I don't know. Anyways, uh, my my fucking foreman. Stop me if you heard the story. They called me up and after like a couple hours of working, and then he told me to go, like me and my apprentice go help out this other like building on the side. Talk about this last no, time. No. They, well, yeah, so I got dragged out. They're like, "Hey, drop your tools. You're done for the day. Just go ahead and go over to this other building, and they need help like cleaning." I'm like, "Okay, that's weird. Like, fucking 
they have like people for that, you know, they have like more apprentices or material, hand, material handlers or like lower level people that are like totally down to do whatever, you know. And so I go over to this building, it's like super fucking hot, you know, no moving air at all. It's, it's already pretty bad in the main building that I'm in, but this one was worse because all like finished walls, all like fully painted, full ceilings, mm. full everything, but there's no electricity there, nothing like that. There's no doors open, no windows open. You're just in there and you're just muggy, fucking awful. And they basically just like hand me a broom and say, we need you to sweep and roll up extension cords for the rest of the day. And I'm like, what the fuck? Are you serious? And so I'm working around all these other journeymen and whoever else, other foremen and stuff, and I'm like, hey, can I, can I please, like, can you get, move your ladder for a second so I can get in here or whatever? <laughs> and I sweep up whatever the hell. And everyone's working all around me doing their thing. And, and I'm, like I said, rolling up these fucking fat 50 amp <laughs> extension cords that are super heavy. Oh. Walking up and I'm on the third floor. I'm going down. This is the first floor, dropping it off. Go up to the first or third floor or whatever. Going, just doing whatever. Everything is just, it's kind of miserable. It's, I've done this before, but I mean, this is like, I did this eight years ago. Yeah. You know, I don't do it now. It was like, 900 people in this job. There's going to be people to do this shit, but no, it's me and then the apprentice I was working with to go down there. I'm like, oh my God. And people are just kind of more of like an asshole to you, you know? Yeah. It's just like, they don't know, they don't know that I'm a journeyman or whatever. Yeah, look at you, you're some they, fucking I mean, some person, dude, third year yeah, or whatever. Yeah, just some dude, yeah. bro, extension cords next to him, whatever. They don't never seen me before. And one of the guys, I'm, I go, we get like a work truck. There's like some, uh, really beat up work trucks that are just meant for like on site. They're not meant to like leave the job at all. Probably like non ops or something. Who the, you know, who the fuck knows? And so I grab one of those because I need to like get all the extension cords and they're called like spider boxes. They're kind of like power strips basically where it's a, uh, like two foot by one foot box, big steel construction that all the construction workers can plug their cords into like a power strip. You know what I mean? But it's like really heavy cords. Commercial. It's, fucking big old it's all cords. commercial grade. You can't plug a standard, uh, plug into it. They have like an adapter that, so you, they have like this locking, um, plug that goes in there, whatever. Anyways, it's, we get all this shit, we're throwing it in the back of the truck, and this fucking, some boss comes over or whatever, and he's on the phone the whole time while he's talking to us, so that's already, like, rude, just be, like, on the phone, you know, going back and forth. So he's the and boss. He's, and he's, he's, like, the, he's totally the boss. And he's like, hey, what the fuck are you guys doing? Like, right away. And I'm like, oh, we're, like, taking these cords up, whatever, and we're going to go move them. we got to move all this stuff over there. He's like, yeah. Yeah, tell me something. I you know you said something like, don't tell me something I don't know. I know we have to do that. I'm like, okay. Well, then why are you I'm like, that's, well, that's what we're doing. Um, and he's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah. No, I got the truck over here. Talking to the guy. He's like, yeah, but these guys are these guys are using it for as a fucking workbench for their extension cords. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Who, who are you? What is happening right now? You know? And he's like, I, this is the only truck we have. Like, I need this truck. I'm like, okay, well then, yeah, we can move all the cords off it. And then you can use it or whatever. That's fine. I don't. I don't know what order of priority this shit needs to be done or whatever. And you just look at it. He's like, No, no, it's fine. Whatever. You know. He's like, I'm fucking pissed off. I'm like, you, I just said I tried to compromise. He's like, What do you want me to do, man? I'm just fucking doing the best I can, bro. And he just he said like maybe one or two. Oh, he said like you guys are you guys are going up there and like cleaning up everything, right? I'm like, Yeah, yeah, we're cleaning up everything. So you're not getting on my guys' ways or nothing, right? Like they need to get their shit done. You guys need to stay out of their way. I'm like, Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's totally fine. We're doing that or whatever. And then he, you know, he says maybe one of the snarky things and leave. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? Like, who, who is, I never, even though it's a construction world, people aren't like that. You know, like it's, it's very rare to see a person just be Complete like, cocks like, like, like I'm a human being. Yeah. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter that I'm a journeyman even. It's just like, whatever. He shouldn't talk to anybody like that. You could be a little harsher to like the lower level guys. As in, you're not, you don't have to be so like, can you please just do this for me? You can be like, hey, bud, can, I need that done. And you can say that, and that's okay. You don't have to be super polite about it. But you don't fucking cuss at, at this guy you never met and, and make in snarky comments and uh, be sarcastic and all this shit. I was like, man, what a fucking day I'm having. I'm just sweating, and I'm annoyed. And we go up, you know, I go up there after a while, whatever. And uh, the next hour, all I'm doing is going like, that guy's a fucking piece of shit. You know, <laughs> I'm just sweeping the floor. That motherfucker, dude, <laughs> anywhere else, dude. You know, I see him out of fucking, you know, bombs or whatever. I'm whooping that guy's ass, you know, whatever. I can't, you know, you can't do anything. He's he's probably, like, the highest up because nobody talks to anybody like that. That's a mid-level guy. Yeah. So I figure that if I did anything to him, he'd be like, that's pretty cool. Get the hell out of here, you know. And so um, that, that happened, but... I mean, the week has just been whatever. I watched Charger game on Sunday. Uh, played the pre-release on Sunday also. Uh, Saturday, I was hanging out with Peppermint Swirl for a little bit. He came came into town. Saw him for like an hour. Um, I don't know. That's pretty much it. Nothing really happened, right? Anything else happened? Come on. That's about it. Woo! 
exciting I week. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know what to say. I got nothing going on. Well, uh, do we even have magic besides let's, now? Let's, now, let's, now. Let's, let's talk about uh, some pre releases then. <laughs> pre release. I don't even have my deck with me. I wish I did. But either way. I uh So Hot Sauce, you went to one and then Crow, you went to I went to the midnight, which I talked about on the last cast. Oh yeah. you talked about exactly. the last cast. Oh, I went yeah, to the midnight guys... cast and we woke up and went to the I slept for like an hour and a half and did the, the <laughs> That's the only reason cast. why the cast was so like <laughs> not hilarious. Is because me and me and Riker are doing like okay, but it's still like the morning time. We're still kind of tired, and then Crow is just not himself because he was so tired. <laughs> Six he, hours of mentally draining magic and tournament style to wake up and sleep for like an hour and a half to come over to cast. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm ready to talk about my deck, but god damn. For the first time ever, he was super late too. He's like an hour and a half late to the <laughs> casting, which is not like him. He's very punctual. Yeah, actually, I, I remember because he came and picked up the recorder, and I was like. Did you I guys gonna get nine? Did yeah. I, did it's I, like ten thirty right now. Am I still having fever dreams? What, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. What's so, funny is I'm only punctual to our cast and playing magic. And I'm not punctual else. for anything. You're punctual with the good stuff. You're, you're, you're fine with magic is important, and I'm there to play. Yep. <laughs> Everything else, I'm late as fuck to. <laughs> the uh, the pre-release. I, you know, you open up your packs, my, my, uh, okay, here's a funny thing. They ran out of packs, or ran out of boxes, right? Mm-hmm. And so I was on, like, a waiting list. I showed up, I, didn't, I called ahead uh, the day before, but they were like, oh, we're, we're filled, we're full, whatever. Um, you have to, you accept walk-ins, but, like, we'll see. And I'm like, all right, well, whatever. I'm just, so I was sitting on the couch beforehand, I'm like, should I even try? I'm like, yeah, fuck it, I'll just go. So I go, I'm like, maybe, I'm the last person for sure. I know that I was the last person to, like, sign the book, or sign the, uh, the waiting list or whatever. So I think it was number eight. On the waiting list, so they get when they call my name, like, all right, that's it, you know, no more, everyone else, just go home, whatever. They got past all the people that uh, were already uh, call heads, and they had no more product, so they just said, like, all right, we're gonna crack open a booster box, and we're gonna give you six packs, and then I have like a handful of promo rares, and I'm just gonna like shuffle them up. He's like, I promise, there's like a planeswalker in here, or whatever, everything is like, you know, gonna be good. Okay, cool. So he just like he shuffles them up, whatever, lays them on the table upside down, and then we just like grab a random one and, and walk off. So I got that uh that I think it's water veil or whatever, is that what it is? Pierce the uh, what is it like Pierce the Water Veil? Something like that. I don't know, it's the time walk. You know, you oh, take, take yeah, an extra turn yeah. and then awaken for a million. Yeah, I think nine, nine or eleven or something like that. I think it's six, take an extra turn and then nine for the awaken. Awaken six though, which is pretty sick. Uh, I didn't end up playing it. I just didn't want to. It was playing blue too, and I was like, I don't this card. I just feel like it's gonna suck. And you weren't even playing a ramp deck or anything, were you? I wasn't playing a ramp yeah, deck, so, so I, I open my packs. I don't have like really anything good for Eldrazi. I don't have anything good for ramp. Uh, I had the blue green hexproof manland, and so I was like, all right, well, I, want, I want to play Simic. So like, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of going there already. I had like a, a couple of say like intro pack rares. The uh, six mana green guy is a five five with trample, and then when landfall, put a counter on him. It's a forest, put two counters. I had the f- six mana dragon four four landfall. Mm-hmm. Land comes in the battlefield, uh, one damage to creature or player. It does two damage if it's a mountain. I had that for my pre-release openings too, but I was like, no fuck. I drew that and that six mana like in- instant sorcery spell where you can like do. Three damage, one creature, two to another, and one to another. Yeah, it's like seven mana, I think. It's yeah. six. It's double red and four. Is it? Okay. Yeah, I pulled another one today. So okay, okay. Like I didn't. I'm like, well, I saw those open those red. I'm like, well, two of my two of my six pet rares and uh, on my packs are red. I'm like, I don't give a shit. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking cards. I don't get, I didn't care. No fucking. Way. I think that in other format, well, maybe this format too. That card, that second card, the one that does like the three things of damage, would be like fine. But I don't think like once you get to like that late of game, I think the creatures are going to be bigger than that. And it's yeah. not going to hit anything anymore. So and it's not like you can combine just the one. Right. That's the, that's that's kind of the problem. Which would be a, a little bit better for limited. Than, but mm-hmm. no, it's like you have to spread it out on three and uh, whatever. I'm like, fuck, I don't understand why that card's rare. Yeah, like, right. I don't get it. So, that there's, um, I got that thing, whatever. I, I opened up, uh, I basically I went teamer. Um, I opened up a decent amount of blue and a decent amount of green, uh, a lot of landfall stuff, and so I got like some, uh, splashing some red for those landfall creatures, like the two one with trample, mm-hmm. like it's plus Good one, card. plus one. Yeah. Good stuff like that. And then plus I played the dragon. I, one of my, my biggest bomb. Probably was I got two of the four three flyers for five in blue, and so it's a four three. It's four power in the air for five mana. That's dope flyer, uh, and it has when it does combat damage to a player, you scry two. 
So your scry, I mean, two cards is like a shit ton of limited. I thought that was fucking rad. So, and there's no flying in the format, basically at all. Oh, it's very, so, very low on flying. So flyers are flyers are premium in this in a set. Basically, it never was blocked. It was killed or whatever, but it was it never was blocked in any of my games. Um, so that was nice. Were you playing any of the awakening cards? Yeah, I was playing. Awakening. So did you did you happen to draw the uncommon Hallmark Tide Color? No. So that, that's why that that's nope. why like people like I was talking to somebody some some guy was streaming and he like what do you guys think is like the best co- all, commons and uncommons I said like dude Halimar Tide Collar has got to be one of the top tier yeah that's commons. that which one's that it's the blue it's for a blue and two and I think it's a two three body yep. and it, when it enters the field you return a card that has awakened on it from your graveyard to your hand ah, and yes. and all of your awoken lands have flying all lands have flying all your lands have flying yeah nice it's so fucking good super good I would have loved to have and, that and he's like no that card is like, it's okay. It's I'm like, dude, like, you're wrong. That card is amazing in this limited format where there's barely any flyers, and you're returning a sheer drop, or you're turning a clutch of currents, and you're awakening again. Yeah, I had that, that one man, I had like three of the one mana blue spell that you bounce a creature to the clutch hand, of currents, yeah. clutch of currents, and then you uh, get an awaken for three. So that's a really good trick. I mean, it gets the creature, the land gets haste. So you bounce their big dude and you attack him with three, you know, plus your other dudes. Like it was a, it's a big turnaround. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times I was able to get like two in the first couple turns. So you're just, I was able to like temp one game. I was able to just tempo the shit out of this guy. This guy was playing creatures on curve. Mm-hmm. And so he, on turn three, he'd play something. I'd bounce it. On turn four, he'd play another guy. I'd bounce that. So on turn five, he would play the, the first guy and maybe like one other spell and like <laughs> it was it was a pretty good beating you know once yeah. I got to that. But that's what I was saying last week that the Simic ramp control I think is going to be a legitimate deck in this ramp, in this draft format. Yeah, I had to face down an Ulamog that was awful obviously. I had to face down that seven five that when it attacks you sacrifice two pain of or Galaged. exile two permanents. Pain of Balaged. That thing fucking is awful. And when it attacks, I was like, I have to just block with everything. Like, I can't <laughs> I can't allow it to hit again, so I'm just going to have to just... He's going to eat all my guys, but I have to kill that five toughness. You know, you have to do it. So that was annoying. I played against... Oh, my... Okay, I'll tell you right now, dude. <laughs> you tell me right now. Let me know. I played, <laughs> against, I played against that fucking 2-2, two, two, three-mana green dude, that uh, mythic oh, my quality God. one, that when uh, Landfall gets a counter, when it ever it receives damage, damage, takes remove damage, a remove a counter, and remove the damage. And fuck no, dude, that thing is insane and limited. You can't kill it. I had I had burn spells. I had two burn spells, but not six mana. It was three mana burn spells. And you know he he uh, put a counter from a land, and I gave it back turn. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna burn it. Like I'm gonna take away the counter. I know I'm wasting it, but if he doesn't have a land next turn, then I get to kill with my second spell. And then he drew a land, so he played that. I'm like, oh my god, it's up to another counter again. You know, he attacks, it removes a counter. It just like. It never fucking dies, dude. It never, ever dies, and it's so annoying. So that thing, even though it's a little creature in limited, where, like, you know, you re- removal is sparse, and, like, you're relying on burn and creature damage to take care and trade, there is no trading. You just you just lose every time. <laughs> that guy is fucking crazy and limited. I think he's going to be good in standard, man. That card is fucking good. He's Obviously, like he's going to be good. Now, yeah, he? he shot from 8 to, like, $20. That's ridiculous. Now he's down to, like, 16 but He's not he's not a $20 card, no, no way. No. I think he's very strong though, but I don't think he's set a twenty dollars. Not for three There's a, a so so. Anyways, I went I went um I won my first game two zero. It was uh, I was playing an ally deck against an ally deck, and it was no big deal, pretty easy. Um, he didn't have any top end. He like his curve stopped. That, that's four, the, so. the main problem with ally yeah. decks is like, you can go easy, quick curve and get some little triggers, but especially like sealed, you only get what you get. Like you might be able to draft it better to like have bigger things happen when you go later game, but as of right now, like there's like no top end to allies. So all you have to do is just Take the 10 damage from the get-go, and then turn it around. And yeah, and even with, I had, like, a, you know, a mid-rangey landfall deck pretty fast, and I still was able to take over big time. So that happened, and then the next the next game, really, really good matchup. Um, it came down to me not drawing the the sixth land I needed or whatever mm-hmm. it was to win the game. I sat there on, like, five lands, and I'm like, I just need six lands, and I win this turn. Like, we're good to go. I had... um. Or no, it was either way. It was I would drop the dragon and then just play a land, and then it would uh, trigger the landfall. So I was waiting for that landfall trigger to like I was able to swing in and uh, you know I was alpha strike, and all my guys would die or whatever. But I get in some damage, and then yeah. I would play the land, and it would it would do the stuff. So that would have happened, um, but it was it was just awful. Um, he was playing this really cool strategy. I really liked it. I thought it was the best that I saw of the day. He was playing nothing but. Eldrazi ramp creatures, everything, you know, everything green, it was green, black, and blue that he's playing, I believe, or maybe it's green, black. And it was just every 
creature, no matter what it was, would pop out one or two scions. <laughs> he played the sorcery that's pop out scions. He played like the six mana dude that brought out three scions. It's all it was. Turn or game one, he had twelve scion creatures plus his like three other ones, whatever. Mm-hmm. He wasn't attacking at all, even when he could attack. Yeah, he could. I had like one blocker. He had like eight creatures. He could have attacked. He didn't care. He just wanted to save everything because his deck's win condition is he had three of the instant speed. Uh, all creatures get plus two, plus O. Oh, colorless creatures get first strike. So he's able to have those 12 creatures. They're one ones. They all turn into three ones when they attack. Hit me for 30 plus damage. And that was beautiful. He would, he would chump if he needed to, but he wasn't really doing damage to me. He was just, I was at, you know, whatever, 17 damage or 17 life. And he's like, that's fine. I'm just going to hang out and we're all good. And cause I, once I get to a good point and your blah, your mana's, you're all tapped out, then I'm just going to swing. And he just waited for the perfect moment and hit me for like 35. I'm like, oh my God, that's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> so and he's doing he, what I was doing, except for I didn't have any of that instant spell. Yeah. So he's doing what I was doing, except for I was getting that point. I had Ulamog. Another an endless one. Another right, he wasn't doing that. Draws he was. He had none of it. He had it in the sideboard. He showed me like um, that he brought in like two big creatures, like the seven five and something else. He's like, I don't. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to like get out as many creatures as I can and just alpha strike, and you're just done. And I mean, what is it? So there are three ones, three damage. I mean, you only have to attack with seven creatures to win, and that is so easy to do. Like, oh my god, <laughs> it's so fucking easy to attack with seven creatures. <laughs> So, um, yeah, he, he was, he was, it was really, really good. We had really good games because I had some good draws against him. But, uh, yeah, that, that happened. Um, the other, the other matchups weren't, weren't anything special. I just got mana screwed and just lost. But it's, they wanted to do five rounds. And so if you get three rounds or greater, then you get packs. I think like if you win three out of five, then you get like four packs. And I could have stayed, but it was already 8 p.m. and I had to work on Monday. So I was like, I don't give a fuck. So you dropped at one, two? I dropped at one, two. Yeah. I was like, whatever. I'm over this. It's fine. I wasn't like super salty. I was just tired and not interested in trying to fight for four packs. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I was, I got it. I'm sure like you were by yourself. So it wasn't like you could like talk with somebody in between rounds. I met a couple people, which was nice, you know, just to, to chat, whatever, but. It was like it was middle of the line. I, like, I wish you guys would go with me more, but because I actually go, like I know certain people there. Once I actually get there, and they're, they're there all the time, and I run into them all the time. So it's like I get there, I spend a little bit of time on myself, and then I see these people, and I end up talking to them mostly. So it's like, but I can understand you just sitting there on a late Sunday, lazy Sunday situation, like yeah, not knowing nobody. It's like, oh, this isn't as fun. Yeah. So that happened. I found that that uh, promo blue time walk card is like. 12, 13 bucks, which is kind of cool. So oh, nice. I can sell it for maybe like eight or something. Yeah, I'd sell it now when you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Down for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is it? Or is it? It could be a hundred dollars. Temple Trespass was a few bucks for a minute there, and then like obviously it wasn't going to see play. So yeah, it's just nothing. So mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. Is there anything else we got going on? So I don't know if you guys know. I haven't really been. I paying, know. Well, obviously you know. I haven't been paying too much attention to uh, Magic Online besides the beta. Because I'm kind of salty about having to sell my shit. Um, <laughs> I've been brewing on the beta, but other than that, I haven't been paying too much attention. But for all you modern fans out there, on September 30th, which is yesterday, um, they're going to have modern leagues. Yeah, they already started. So I don't know if you guys talked about last cast, but no. modern leagues are out there. So any. Players who are excited about leagues, fucking hop on in and get some, fucking get some. I was watching uh, Frank Lafour playing slippers on modern leagues yesterday. Oh, how was that? <laughs> the deck was interesting to watch. I mean, I watched him win his first match, and then he had to go for dinner or some shit like that. I watched. But. I watched a few of his matches, and he was, <laughs> he was like way surprised because he was. He did some videos for TCG Player. He's like four videos a week or whatever. He did, or he just one, you know, four videos that are released on the same day. And you just watch four matches and, and see what happens. And he's, right in the beginning, he's like, all right, we're playing Slivers. This deck got 4-0 and whatever. Like, I'm going to try it out. But uh, I'm not thinking that this is going to do any, it's not going to be very good. I'm pretty damn sure. But we'll see. We'll see what happens, you know. And then game one or whatever, he loses really quickly. And then game two, the deck was like really explosive, super duper explosive, where everything was big, flying, and then it had a uh, link, and you didn't have that. It was it's, it doesn't have like everything in it. It has like a creature that and when it when you target it, they have to pay two more to target it. Yep. There's uh, re- one that regenerates all your creatures, or you know you pay one whatever to regenerate. He does have a life link one in there though. Oh, does he? Yeah. Okay. He has, and then he has um, one that was really good. That was like winning games for him. Was the uh, it's a four mana sliver that all slivers have tap to tap target permanent. 
And so he would just have like five creatures and attack with three of them and then and the upkeep whatever. He would go ahead and just like tap down two of the, the best lands or whatever. Nice. And then they wouldn't be able to play anything. Like certain like against control strategies, right, you know, right. like whatever it may be. They had like an amulet bloom one. And he was like, all right. I, I, he had, oh, he had the guy that had vigilance out too. Yeah. So they had vigilance, so he tapped with all five. He's like, all right. On your turn, I just have to tap all five of my guys, <laughs> tap all five of your dual lands, <laughs> and, and you're then, done. And then, yeah, and then the guy had to concede. There was no gameplay after that. He, was oh, like, he had no mana left. He just every turn he had no mana, <laughs> and so he can't do anything. And that was hilarious. You know, it was it was awful because like you got to feel bad when the sliver has flying plus three plus three tap a permanent and vigilance and, vigilance, and you're just like oh okay, <laughs> that's this is, gross. so that's the shit that's gross about it for yeah. sure but otherwise I mean I don't think it's very exciting but when it gets going then you just feel like there's this is the strongest deck I've ever fucking seen when it gets going you know what I mean slivers is slivers I mean it is what it is for a reason I mean yeah it's exciting to watch one or two times but again like to actually play that deck or to watch that on a bunch of coverage matches would not be enjoyable. It's like it's like a house of cards. You take out one fucking sliver out of it and it just falls apart. There's one thing that they got going for it in modern is that they have sliver hive and cavern of souls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you have eight spells that you can cast, can cast all everything. So that's like really cool. The thing is, unless it's playing at Brup Decay. And it rec- it, those stands don't work. So there's a bunch of times where he has abrupt decay, and he's like, I can't even cast this. <laughs> he's like, and he plays a four mutal vault too. So it's like, there's nothing I can do right now. Yeah. It's too, it's too mana intensive, you know. That and then um, he would like have his fetch lands, and he had like one of each thing in there to make sure he can like get what he wanted. But then he's like, I don't have an abrupt decay. I have these colors livers, and I might want to like go ahead and fetch for that color. But maybe I should just. Uh, Fetch for like a uh, fucking underground tomb because maybe I'm gonna draw an abrupt decay and, and if I draw it I have no chance of casting yeah. it. Like, so he's making like bad decisions with fetches because he's like anticipating an abrupt decay that will never come. <laughs> so shit like that would happen and it, I thought it was a uh, it's obviously a great card but it's really bad for that. I don't I don't know why the fuck they were playing that card. So not really playing much removal either. It's just about slivers. So like. About decay being your one, because I guess you're you're using it to also be able to fight off enchantments and artifacts and everything else. But so you have to like slot that in because it has a universal picture. With I mean, it does take of. care of like Liliana. It does take, take care. Of, I mean, it takes yeah. care of almost everything, everything yeah. you're going to be worried about. Really good stuff. Yeah. Except but like, you're right. The problem stuff. with the mana base is you know yeah. makes it difficult to cast. So like, but that's why they're playing about decay in there because yeah. they're not playing any other removal pretty much. So they want those ones to take care of anything they have to take care of. Yeah. Those, I think it's good against, really good against the, uh, the, uh, Splinter Twin deck, because you can, like, kill the, it's a three mana flyer that comes out, the, whatever. Pestermite. Yeah, Pestermite, and then Deceiver Exarch, or whatever. So those, you can kill those with Abrupt Decay, which is, like, perfect. The new one is actually Binding Crisis. The modern Super League they're doing on Tuesday, that used to be Vintage Super League, and now this, this, over the last couple months, we, like, they did a standard one, and now they did a modern one that just ended, and now then they're gonna do, like, a legacy one, at the end, like, and, you know, the winners and like some outside shooters are going to play in like the final round. It's going to be some kind of like combination of the, of the, of the, uh, the formats. Anyways, um, Patrick Dickman, Dickman was playing Dickman. Splinter Twin, but instead of using Deceiver X Arc or Pestermite, he was using Bounding Crisis. And like his reasoning was that that being a 3 3, doing the same thing comes in, tap target permanent, and you know, it has the same effect as Deceiver and Pestermite. Is a so four mana 3 3? Three mana. Oh, one in Simic. Okay. To, to play it at flash speed as well. Okay. So, like, and actually, what, you know, his reasoning was that this card can still beat down. And, like, I watched, you know, a couple matches of his during this thing, and, like, yeah, he won a good, he won a match or two, because a lot of, a lot of Splinter Twins, Twins plans is, like, game one, they do the combo, and a lot of times they side out the combo game two based on what they're playing against. So game two, like, they can do that and they can still beat down Bound and Crisis or whatever. That still gives you an option for game one if you're not gonna, if you can't find Splinter Twin to still beat down. So that's the next card. For Fair enough. Combo. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds better. I mean, if it's a 3-3 three, three for the same price except that you have to add green, that's, so I think it's still fine. You know, he's playing the version that also had Tarmogoyf, I believe. Ah. So, you know what they else, also they, uh, announced was, uh, bannings for Tick Through Time. They did. Indeed. So yeah, for, for this. um, Black Vice is on, on, uh, Unre- un- unbanned and what is it, vintage or legacy is now? It unrestricted or something? Or? Un- I think yeah, maybe it's unrestricted. So they have um, yeah, dig through time was banned in legacy, legacy and then restricted in vintage, and then ban and then um, 
what else? What else was going on? There's one other card that they took care of also. So in Legacy, anyway, like, in Legacy, Digitime's changing everything. So in Legacy, Dig Through Time is banned. Black Vies is unbanned. In Vintage, Chalice of the Void. Dig yeah, Through Time the void, there you go. and Thirst for Knowledge. Or Dig Through Time and Chalice of the Void are restricted, and Thirst for Knowledge is unrestricted. So not a whole lot of things, but people are talking about how like unbanning of Black Vies is actually a big thing for that format, like that. For anybody who doesn't know, it's a colorless, obviously colorless artifact for one colorless. As it enters the battlefield, choose an opponent. At the beginning of the chosen opponent's upkeep, Black Vise deals X damage to that player, where X is the number of cards in his or her hand, minus four. So it's like the opposite of the rack. Right. They want cards in your hand. Yep. And that's the thing is, is when you're like fucking... Just uh, cantripping right. over and over Brainstorming again. Brainstorming nonstop and yeah. chasing nonstop. Yeah, and you want you want to do that for the first few turns. You're going to have a lot of cards in your hand in those formats for the first few turns. So, yeah. Well, time they get like down to no cards when they start playing Force of Wills and have an exile second card. Other than that, they usually their hands pretty full. Yeah, yeah. The Force of Will, yeah, that definitely gets rid of some cards. But it's worth it. I mean, that's Force of Will is ridiculous. Yeah. It's worth it's also, how much you want to know about a good magic card? How much is fucking Force of Will? It's probably 40. Uh, lots of money. Too much for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> $40,000. So, uh, not that we have much else to talk about, but I ended up picking up a Commander 2013 deck. Um, the, Allura, well, the main reason why is... The main reason why is for Tiny Leaders, but I picked up the Aloro deck, which is the Esper deck, and I picked it up for Toxic Deluge. For two and a black, it's a sorcery. As an additional cost to cast it, pay X life. All creatures get minus X, minus X till end of turn. I definitely needed another board wipe um, in Tiny Leaders, and this is one of the better ones, you know. It's, Drown and Sorrow is good. But, it's only two. And but it's, it's only two, enough, sometimes. and sometimes it's not enough. Um, oh, yeah, sometimes it's better because you're saying it's like twenty dollar card apparently. Yeah, it's like fifteen bucks or something ridiculous like that. So I figured I'd just buy the whole deck, and plus I get um, Dark Steel Mutation, which is like ten cents or fucking something stupid, and also Crawl Space uh, for three colorless artifact. No more than two creatures can attack you each combat. And then there's other stuff like Soul Ring and just a couple dollar cards here and there. So good value stuff that are good in other formats. I figure I'd take like a couple cards out of this deck and just replace them, and then I can just play kind of you know play with this deck, a stock commander deck, and not be too shitty about it. So you still haven't really figured out like why this deck is actually that like, expensive, other than Toxic Deluge. That's that's the most expensive card, and then pretty much everything else. I don't I don't know why. I think that good that's, that's the main card that's driving this fucking the price of this deck. Because I think it's now more expensive than the uh, than the other fucking deck. Now, How expensive is Mirror Battlesphere? Not that expensive. No, I was saying, that's a that's a card that people love to use. I mean, there's just there's just a bunch of like two dollar, one dollar, three dollar cards in there. So sweet, good pickup. And also, speaking of buying packaged magic things, uh, me, Crow, and Sauce actually had a chance to pick up. Some fat packs of Battle for Zendikar. Even though the set doesn't come out till tomorrow, we have a secret source which we're not going to put <laughs> yeah, on blast. Don't mean that shop <laughs> because it might not even be a shop. It might be some sort of black back hole, out, sort back of alley shit. Yeah, 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 big big old overcoat, you know, trench coat, and then he yeah, has what are you buying? Off. You know, yeah. that sort of <laughs> what fat pack selling? hanging off. <laughs> so uh, ship yeah, all off trucks. Yeah, we were able, <laughs> <laughs> we were able to pick up some fat packs a uh, day early. And I, I mostly just got it just because I want the fucking color, the full art, the colorless. I they are they're, colorless. They are they colorless. Are colorless. <laughs> the, I wanted the full art. How's that a running joke now? Yeah, I, full art colorless I, lands. I wanted the full art colorless, colorless lands, but, uh, did you guys pull anything else good? Any expeditions? Yeah, we, yeah, we would have started with that. that yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. Beginning yeah. of the cast. <laughs> <Ba-doom>! <laughs> no, no expeditions were pulled, but <coughs> just like in my uh, pre-release, I pulled another Ulamog, which I'm stoked about. Pulled a couple of uh, two Omnaths. So in my first fat pack, I pulled three Mythics out of the nine packs. Like, well, that's that's pretty good fucking ratio. But uh, other than that, like, those are my moneyer, moneyer ones. I mean, I pulled one of the Manlands, the, the white black one. And Noyon Dar, the Royal Shaper, I'm kind of excited to play that card because it's so weird, almost, you know? The one that makes, like, every time you cast an instant sorcery, you fucking awaken a land. It's kind of interesting. So, you guys pull anything good? Uh, not really. 
No. I don't, really. I don't even remember. I mean, I pulled one of those new lands, um, one of the new uh, Tango lands or whatever. Cinder Glee. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Fight Club lands. That. Fight Club lands. <laughs> Fight Club lands, yeah. Can't talk about it. No. Nope. Uh, I mean, I don't really pull anything. I'm, I'm just excited, once again, for the full art lands. I totally agree. And I'll be buying more product in the next week or something like that. We'll just see. I'll look at my bank account. I'll be like, this is, I feel like this is the time I want to spend money on magic. Yeah. You know, where it only comes once a year, maybe, where I'm like, ah, this is the time. I should just drop $500. This you know, is why not? Set. This is You're going to drop $500 buy a straight case. case. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm thinking I make my money back from just pulls of expeditions. So, yeah, there you go. I'm not even like losing money, dude. It's like no big deal. I'm gaining. Apparently, they're going, EV, baby. They're, they're going down fast, so. Uh, that? yeah, I guess that? that's good. The What's expeditions. Uh-huh. Like I was just looking on Twitter and everyone's like, oh my god, they're taking, ah, the world's yeah, over. Yeah, whatever. whatever. They're not going to drop that far. They're going to go back up. So, I wanted to mention a couple things, too, like, getting near the end of the cast. So, on, uh... For, I feel like we're going to have an after-school special right now for some reason. Yeah, yeah. I just kind of want to bring it in and, Let's, let's uh, talk, guys. It's a happy what? little tree in the background. Our little secret, huh? You just know what? Not us. that you're acting out, but you really need to change your behavior. You know? <laughs> I want, to, I want to sit down with our fans yeah. and talk to them and, and thank them for uh, all their support. Let me just bust out with the years. guitar real quick. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, our, I don't know if anyone's had a problem, but I want to bring something up that I, we, I upgraded uh, the service that we use to host for iTunes and all that stuff. And when I upgraded, I noticed that our view count and downloads went up. Um, especially on like older episodes, but I just noticed like a trend. Um, I think I did it maybe four weeks ago. So the fast four episodes, there's been like a higher download, and and then like I said, previous episodes a lot more. When I was looking at my previous version of the account, it seemed like it was limited on bandwidth. So I'm not sure if people out there were having trouble downloading multiple episodes or something like that. Maybe they can download the newest, but if they went back, it would like maybe not have the episode available or something like that. I never face this problem, but I'm wondering why our... Because nothing changed, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, nothing's different, but for some reason, upgrading the account and getting more bandwidth, now everything's up. So I'm curious if anyone out there uh, faced that. Maybe send us an email at, uh, you know, it's ifflamscoulkill.com, and then there's a contact uh, bar on there. And the website... So, um, well, that was the website. You didn't send the email. What's that? No, no, what the, the, the website for the account you upgraded. Oh, that doesn't matter. We want me to say it? No, no, the shout engine. Yeah, yeah, but that is you don't have to. You're not going to contact me on that. Is that what you're saying? No, no, I'm just, I'm just saying. Oh, if, I don't if, think. But if, people if, don't use shout engine though. Oh, I mean, so it's for people, iTunes. It's for iTunes, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I didn't, people, I didn't. Like, shout engine. Nobody's going to shout engine and downloading it off there. Gotcha. It's just gotcha. our provider, so all the numbers come from iTunes. And so I was curious if like that something was weird there. <laughs> gotcha. Um, so that happened. We got a. Uh, we're up to uh, big old five reviews on iTunes. Uh, four, four five star reviews and one that original one star. I don't get you guys. You know, you guys are a bunch of teenagers. I'm like, I know. Yeah, I, I get it. Yeah, make sure so. make sure you do contact sauce if you had any problems, and we'll, re- <laughs> we'll refund you with charging badgers. Yeah, exactly. Foil <laughs> for the, you pay for the shipping for the inconvenience. Yeah, thirty bucks for yeah, shipping. No big deal. Shipping. Um, so any, any good reviews? I do. Yeah, yeah. We got another. You know, another positive review. Um, some guy saying he just valued our cast more than other casts. Basically, he's like, I, I look forward to this more than uh, Joe Rogan's podcast and whatever else, you know. Huh. That's cool. So I just appreciate, you know, we we it always feels good, you know, to, like, get positive reviews. Uh, we don't really talk about it much saying, like, you know, go to this and do, you know, and uh, leave us a review on this and keep us high in the rankings and whatever. You know, we don't do that. But I just – it feels good to get the reviews in. So if you guys uh, want to make our morning, you know, whatever – Go on iTunes and leave us a little snippet, you know. Make sure you uh, talk shit to the, us. The more, whatever. the more you guys support us in ways like that, the more people can just browse through uh, podcasts and be like, oh, these guys seem okay. You know what? I give them a shot. If there's no reviews or things are negative, then, like, of course, you you don't know anything about them, so you're just going to be like, yeah, I'll just skip this one. So if you guys want to recommend us, you know, go ahead. Um, and that's the way to do it is just to, um, you know, maybe repost our – retweet our stuff on Twitter – on our If Lance Could Kill page or one of our personal ones, get the word out there, and then the reviews on iTunes and stuff like that. It's, it's nice, you know. It's nice, yeah, it's nice. just, mm-hmm. it feels good to, when you're putting a product out there or something that people interact with you or respond yeah. or something like, mm-hmm. you know, the few people who talk to us on Twitter. It's just, it's awesome that they're into what we're doing and we kind of become friends and whatever. And it's like on the A team all the time, they're always like joking, like, is somebody gonna leave like a fucking comment? Like, and that's the fucking A team. Like, they're like one of the top three fucking magic podcasts, and they're even like 
thirsty for interaction with their listeners. Yeah, it's, so. I mean, with people that we talk to on Twitter, like, they are, like, our friends, basically. It feels that way, you know, Definitely. where yeah. you want to you wanna just see what's going on, and whenever you Except post... Except for that, fuck, Watermelon TV! Yeah, fuck that guy! I'll never hit on him. I can't. I gotta be, I gotta be his uh, Did you say you're backup. not going to hit on him? I'm going to hit on him. Hey, hey, we're, hey, dude, I, we're going to go out to nice seafood for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, your dollar, because I'm a fancy woman. <laughs> Ladies never pay. Right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's just really fun. If anyone of you guys want to hit us up, you know, on Twitter or whatever, we'll totally get back to you. Send us an email. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. We're, you know, we're pretty uh, good on getting back to people with uh, whatever questions or ideas they have. They, you know, that guy sent us that, that deck that he wanted us to take a look at or whatever. We did it. You know, why not? There's actually oh, one we missed. Oh, dude, oh, that one guy. Me. Yeah, we, we missed fucking, one. And we're like, yeah, we'll as talk we about just, it in another cast. As we just said it, we just remembered. <laughs> oh. uh, what, what deck was that that he was talking was about? Was it on Twitter? I think it was... That was a Tiny Leaders deck. Yeah, it was, it was on Twitter. It was on oh, Twitter. Okay. You know what? Yeah, he it. tweeted. He, he tweeted us, like, else. He's like, for, like, long time listener, first time tweeter, you know, something stupid like that. And, and like, he probably made the account, like, just... Oh, I, God, I looked yeah, and he, yeah. like, had, like, two tweets. First one, and then the second one to us. Yeah, so... so I was, was talking to him on Twitter about the deck. That's got to be next ideas. cast. We're nice. not going to have the best ideas, but maybe we can uh, at least get... Yeah, we'll look up and see what How it is right now. How the fuck is that guy's name? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I tweeted him a bunch. I can look at my... See what happens when you interact with us when you fucking don't even... I talked to him a bunch on the actual Twitter. And had yeah, you did hit up a bunch of things. Yeah. Oh, it was the hard scales deck. Yeah, yeah. I, I had some thoughts. Like he was doing some certain things that was this and that way. I gave him some other suggestions. So we, I did talk to him on Twitter, but we should give another deck review on here for him. Yeah, I would say um, for a simple start, um, I have a hard scales deck on my tapped out. So it's just tapped out.net and then T E H hot sauce. Is mine. It's always in the show notes too, so you can just click on MTG Cast or whatever, and just click on the show notes. But yeah, there's there was some things he had in there that were like fun, flavorful stuff. Maybe that he like opened packs. And he's like, oh, yeah. I want to play it. That's totally cool. But if you're going the direction of like you know Very synergy, it, yeah. competitive stuff like that, you want to have you know four ofs, and you, you just you just ignore some of the creatures and you just go with the best things. Hangerback Walker is a good one. Um, if you're not if you're not playing collector company, then Hangerback Walker is going to be a fantastic one. It gets you know two counters every time. Uh, I'm okay with spiciness. I don't think you have to play play sets of everything. No, I I get that. You know, some of, some of the things he was doing were things that he obviously had pulled that didn't really work with the deck. Like they worked, but not good enough. Yeah. His name so. his name is Aaron at Rune Fifster. I don't. Yeah, that's pretty good. Fister, I yeah. I thought it was Fister. Yeah, at first. you ruin her by fisting her. Well, that's, <laughs> those are just true facts. So the deck's called Counters, not the lame blue ones either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll have to. Uh, we'll we'll have, have to ignore you. So you. Yeah, won't. we'll have to ignore you until next week. Um, and we'll probably forget then too. So no, this no, is no. exactly what I'm saying. It. If you send it to us, we will review it. We, we will, will eventually remember. It. Eventually, maybe I, yeah. next year. We should have been better on that one. That's kind of unfortunate. But, but I think was, maybe that was uh, these situations in spoiler season, and just and then we we actually had problems with getting together on that Thursday because of the concert. So. I think that was this last week, wasn't it? It probably was. We're gonna. The excuse is that uh, we were all too tired and I was yeah, drunk. weren't paying attention to stuff. I wasn't drunk, so I wasn't. Well, if, I was, if I wasn't almost dying, then yeah, you could count on me. But but we'll review it next week. Yeah. No, I'm yeah, sorry, right. everyone, for not being drunk this cast. I haven't had a beer all day, and that's it's not good for casting. I'm a steak. I apologize also for <laughs> <laughs> not drinking. Yeah. But uh, that's been it for episode fifty four. 55. Uh, 55? 55. Damage. 55. Uh, go ahead and do all that stuff that I said. Yeah, touch that. Touch that follow button. And we're going to be putting out oh. some videos. Yeah, I, I, Am I, I, got, I, right? I got a new camera. Have you tested it out? No, I kept it in the closet because I don't want the girlfriend to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So nice. Fun. Yeah. Perfect. Dude, just I'll I'll be your your uh, your scapegoat. Just say like, oh, this is Corey's camera. Yeah. You just know? let me borrow and, uh, it. Uh, yeah, that's know? fine. Everyone can borrow it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's fine. And then yeah. <laughs> great. So, anyways, we're gonna get that going. It's gonna be better quality. It's gonna have better. Um, uh, what do you want to call it? Like a. Uh, Indoor night mode, you know what I mean? It's going to have not so much glitch. low light. Low light, I should say, yeah. Is there like so. an XLR hookup so we can get like a boom mic? Um, I believe there's an external mic really? hookup. I think it's just okay, an 8 inch cool. jack, though. Oh, okay, yeah. that's not so cool. So you have that. <laughs> I have an adapter for it. That's so perfect, perfect. Yeah. So I think it's 8 inch jack. So I have that, and then um, 
it'll it'll take away the uh, fish eye and you know just stuff like that. We were using a GoPro before because I wanted it because I can use a GoPro for like my motorcycle and stuff like that. So I was like looking at cameras. I'm like, no, nah, this is I should just get this for the, for the only camera, you know, versatile one. And now that we're slacking on videos, or I am slacking on uh, videos and stuff like that, I'm like, all right, to get me back into, it, I need like a push, and so the camera is going to be my push. Yep. So nice. following that, you also can look forward to the uh, reloading videos we'll be doing. <laughs> Really uh, how to make do? We'll put that on. If Lance, we'll put that on. If Lance could kill. And actually, <laughs> coming up here pretty quick, uh, you might notice some increase in quality in the audio of the podcast. I want to laugh when it's actually the worst quality. I know, right? That's yeah, going to be great. It can't be. It can't be that. It can't be. It can't get any worse. So. No promises, but hopefully we'll have some better uh, quality audio. We will. Dude, we, will. we still have some of the best quality you know, audio out there because we're not Skyping in the fucking phone calls and shit. We're all together. No, no. Us. Other podcasts, like, you know, like not Magic Podcasts, way oh, better Oh, yeah, well, I'm, like, I'm talking about Magic All the other good so. podcasts that are out there, the popular ones, like, the the quality is amazing. Yeah. But, yeah, Magic specifically, everyone's on Skype, everyone's across the country. That's how they do it. Yep. They don't have, nobody has the, you know, podcasting studio yeah. for Magic because Magic makes no money. So <laughs> nobody has money for it. I know, like, two other podcasts that do, like, in-person podcasting, so. Who's that? Um, Fuck. Magic the Amateur. Junk, they do? junk Rares. Okay. Amateur. Ma- Ma- yeah. Magic the Amateur. And I'm not sure if uh, the one Casey's on. Drill, direct damage. Direct damage. Direct I'm not sure if they're in the same room or not. Probably, but then they also they get like guests, and they're probably over Skype too. Yeah. You know what I mean, so. So, anyways, that's been it. I'm Mark City. That's right. So, bro. That's uh, And we'll catch you guys later. <laughs> You uh, digest yourself. So every morning, like now this is like the routine. Every morning I'm like, I get up, you know, whatever, okay? Then I go downstairs and I'll have like, I don't know, I wake up like kind of like later, so I have to like rush the shit. So to make me shit, I'm like, alright, I'm gonna have like a Red Bull and I'm gonna smoke the shit out of my vape. <laughs> and I, if I do that, within like like five to eight minutes, I have to take a shit. Nice. That's like the routine now. I'm like, alright, I'm just gonna like sit in front of the computer, look at whatever I gotta look at, and I'm gonna fucking pound this thing and I'm gonna smoke a bunch of vape and I know I'm gonna shit. <laughs> and I can shit at like, you know, five, like five, 45, I can shit, and then I can leave the house at like 5.50. Nice. That's like the routine every day. And sometimes I'm like, oh no, I don't have to shit yet, but I know I will have to be in the car. Now it's too late, like I can't leave now. I have to sit here and wait for me to shit. So I have to like, now I'll be a little bit late. I was going to waste that shit. I was late to work yesterday because of this reason. You're like, no, it's not me, it's my ass. Yeah. yeah. Dude, you don't understand, the routine didn't work. I didn't have to shit fast enough, but I still had to stay there to shit because I knew it was kicking after five minutes of driving, I have to stop at a fucking gas station, which I've done before. So it's not fun. I stop at like uh, AM, PM on the way to work, and then you have to get back in traffic. Yeah, that's the fucking yeah. worst. Have to shit in traffic. <laughs> yeah, shitting in traffic is the worst. Actually, the worst. You're like, uh, can I use the bathroom? I uh, only for paying customers. And you're like, fuck, I need to buy a 25 cent pack of gum to just shit. <laughs> no, I did tell, I'm pretty sure I told you about like the time I was going to, I was working nights, like 6 p.m. or whatever, and, or no, it was maybe later than that, and I, I had to shit. I showed up at work, and we're working at like elementary schools, and the janitor, whoever it was, wasn't there yet. So I'm there with everybody, you know, I arrive like the latest, everyone's hanging outside their cars, and I'm like, alright, so what's up? Like, we going in? He's like, no, the janitor's not here yet, we can't get in on the property yet. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm like, I got shit so fucking bad, like, I am, I was already, like, like, squeezing my ass so tight, and, like, where I'm, like, pushing my, my left foot against, like, the dead pedal on the floor to, like, hold my shit in, basically, yeah, just I'm like, dude, play. you don't understand, I got shit so bad, so I'm like, alright, let me, like, look for a way in real quick, but so it's been, like, two minutes, like, looking around, I'm like, okay, I can't find it, whatever, so I, I'm like, I gotta get in the car and go drive somewhere, I cannot, I can't, I have to shit right now, so I get in the car, I drive down the street, there's a Del Taco right there, that's the quickest place, I walk inside, I'm like, run in the Del Taco, and I look around and it's just counter from wall to wall, no bathroom. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, hey dude, like, where's the bathroom at? Like, you guys have to have a bathroom, right? And he's like, yeah, yeah, it's like around the back, whatever. It's like one of those outdoor yeah. ones, whatever. So I go run over there. The quarter operated one. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> so I run back inside and I go in there, like, really aggressive, like, hey man, I have to shit right now. <laughs> like, I need one of your coins or whatever. And he's like, oh yeah, 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 sorry, sorry. You know, he's like, 
He got all, you know, excited. <laughs> Don't poop in here. Yeah, he's like, whoa, 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 okay, okay, hold on. I've got to clean it Runs, up. fumbles through a drawer or whatever, pulls out a fucking coin. It's like one of those, like, boardwalk coins that has, like, the yeah. slits in it. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Why did you give it to you the first I go place? run in there, and yeah, I just... I can't believe I made it so long. I made it, like, I was already wanting to shit at the uh, elementary school. I thought... So your body's already like, yeah, yeah, like...